I forgot that I was live. I click the button, go live, and then I do some things, and then I forgot. Oh, I remember why. I remember why. Exile Fury, welcome to the stream. Harry, welcome to the stream. Jung, welcome to the stream. I think that's the nicknames, but I can't see very well. Because I took my glasses out. And I am cleaning them now. Using a three-year-old microfiber thing that is dirty as chisels. It's really dirty. It's so dirty. It's like, it's like, like naughty dirty. It's, that's how dirty it is. It's just like, it went beyond just the gross. And so it, look, this, 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 uh, this microfiber cloth is like terrible. Bad, bad microfiber cloth. But still clean this, cleans the glasses somehow. Ah, look at that. I mean, you're not going to be able to see it. Hopefully I won't be able to see it as well, because you put the glasses in your face. No, I see it. There's a lot of, like, little dings and whatnot. You know how it goes with glasses. Ah, uh, the bane of my existence. <clears throat> Harry, I believe, left a message. I believe his se second message is green. And hi, says Exiled Fury. I believe. Jung also says hello. Look at me, I can, I can read things. I haven't put the glasses in my face yet. I'm going for it. Glasses in my face. I was right, mostly. You should use deer skin, says Harry. I, we don't have deer here in Portugal. Actually, that's not true. I think we do have deer here in Portugal. Uh, What am I doing wrong right now? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Don't worry about it. Jung, uh, Jung has a sword in his name. Yeah, well, before. Before. Okay, let me, um, let me launch the appropriate software for the recording process. Due to the nature of uh, recording. And we're going to go with a started recording now. We have left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And KOTOR is done. We say yes to that. And we say yes to this. And uh, I launch Knights of the Old Republic 2. It is Obsidian! B-A. B-A. Is that for Super Mario? I only know the... Or I knew the one for uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. How do you feel knowing that Brian Fargo watched your stream? I feel like... Uh, it's weird. <laughs> It's weird. I hope I didn't embarrass myself, basically. That's that's the feeling. I need a haircut. I need I need a lot of stuff. I do need I do need a bad yeah, that's that's definitely true. And by haircut I mean basically trim it to appropriate levels of uh, of non hair existence. But I'll figure it out. Maybe this week. Maybe uh, maybe Friday. Sell out superstar. Mm-hmm. 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 So we are playing Knights of the Old Republic. I have... There's something wrong. There we go. That's how we do. Oh, that's right. We're in the middle of a planet that is weird. Sort of. It's, uh... It's something. Oh, also... Also, unfortunately, I don't have my volume up. It is my banana version. Where's the banana version? There it is. It's this thing. It's the voice meter thing. And off it goes into the other screen. Oh, no. I put this. I don't worry about it. I can, can figure it out. There we go. And now I can see my audio levels. Let's put them over here because it's easier for me. Let's go live. I mean, we were live already. 
you need to do a similar stream for the new Pathfinder where where Owl Cat gives you 10 keys. If they give me 10 keys, I will probably do it. Yeah, I got something here at the edge of my vision and I don't like it. Uh, but they're probably not going to give me 10 keys. They didn't give me the key for, for the original game. Uh, give you a chance to win by not typing giveaway in chat, says, says Jung. So, where are we? Well, good question. It's because I made the question. It is... The sun? No. Yeah. We're in a moon, aren't we? Like, we wanted to go to a planet. And then I didn't go to a planet. So that's where y'all went. Why, why, why did you gotta be like that? There's nobody coming from here. Oh my god. I'm upset we regulars didn't get a higher chance of winning. I, uh, do you know there's there's uh, there's laws against that? Uh, loot boxes aren't considered gambling in a lot of countries, but in the vast majority of countries, I can't uh, do giveaways. Um, or or I can. I need to pay taxes if I do giveaways. Whatever giveaway it is, even if it is like I didn't pay anything for the giveaway, but I would need to get, uh, to pay taxes as the giveaway person. If I gave a giveaway, for example, sub only, or for anything that that basically directly rewards me financially from a uh, like if you only you had to be subscribed to me um, or something like that or be my patron and for me to give you a giveaway, uh, there are laws against that. But loot boxes in video games, that's not gambling. That isn't giveaways for sub only gambling, definitely. Young Boma, oh, so young that uh, is a little bit damaged. A little bit on the damage side of things, and dead side of things. Why was that? I wonder. There's more wreckages back here. That's literally what they're called. A Matukai meditent Meditation Bend. I believe I have one of those. I don't know who has it, but somebody has it. I don't think Antonio Costa is going to pay attention to your streams. You're fine. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I don't know how that would be. Who would be, like, how, who would I be liable to? Because I think I would always be liable to anybody. Basically, I would be able to be sued on whatever country the person attempting the giveaway or wanting to be part of the giveaway. Basically, if you were in the U.S., for example, uh, and the giveaway was for everywhere in the world. Um, so you were in the US, you'd be able to sue me in, in courts uh, in the US because you'd just be like, I want I want a chance of that, but I, I don't want to be a subscriber, so I will sue you for malpractice and things. So it isn't it isn't about like it's not a public um, you know the government prosecutes you if it is a pub a civil crime or I suppose misdemeanor. I'm not actually sure what the terms are, but there's some terms for that. Uh, if for those of you not knowing what, what Antoni, who Antoni Costa is, uh, I do believe he is our prime minister here in Portugal. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not an online company. I don't have to pay taxes if I do a giveaway, says Harry. Everybody does. Uh, well, actually, it's it's not necessarily. Ta I don't know if it is necessarily about the taxes. Uh, Curly Bear, welcome to the stream. It is. There's something. There's something like really. It's 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 usually like a pain in the butt, and that's why uh, lotteries and. Uh, Raffles and stuff like that, they're heavily they're heavily limited to certain companies because they have the things set up for them. Um, Harry says offline, sorry. Oof, my stream just peaked to 7,000 KPSs. That's why I never put it at the maximum. Twitch, it used to be that Twitch would allow you to stream at 65 KPS. Um, but I, I don't do it. I do 6,200. It's, it's 65. It's 6,500. But then you should do a giveaway poll or should, should close the giveaway poll. It's still open. That's right. That is a good question. Well, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't work because <laughs> I'm not advertising it. So if you type giveaway, uh, well, actually, yeah, I think you just, uh, by you typing giveaway, no, whoever, w well, Azor, I, Azor was already in the giveaway. So whoever is new in typing that, you will see a message that is incorrect. So don't see the messages that are incorrect because uh, they feel it's it's bad. It's bad too. It feels bad to see messages that are incorrect. But uh, it's a pain. Oh, no, I can actually... No, I'm not sure I can. Yeah, see? I click off screen and then this happens. Let's just... Uh, 
turned it off. Turn it off. There we go. Wrestling three giveaway exclamation mark. Uh, why'd you move? This is why we can't have nice things. Absolutely, why we can't have nice things. If on my website I say tonight I put a give, uh, put up a giveaway for a thousand euros, I can give th that money and not have to pay any taxes. Oh no, yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it is totally fine every time, but what I mean is to say is that if you say you need to pay me a dollar or a cent to uh, to have the chance of winning a thousand euros, then you are then you are uh, under regulations. You're always under regulations, but your regulations apply differently if you, uh, people pay you money for getting into the the giveaway. Unseen banana, welcome to the stream. Uh, and so basically that the the so what happens is it's not just about giving you a money for the raffle it's also giving away money for the raffle it's also about anything that benefits you for example if you have a giveaway for uh paying customers immediately under under um under law uh there's exceptions though for certain things a canock in the middle of the fog actually that's incorrect it's in the middle of the um of the the of the grass and uh, I think we made our way back. Were these over here? Oh, they have remains. I didn't. I didn't notice. A broadened chamber mark three. Wait, the Canucks have that? The black battle armor. Wait, I'm not. Yeah, that's the Canucks that have that. What does that mean? That's a lottery or gamble. Yeah, but it, it like there are multiple forms to get into that, into the definition of, of lottery. Okay, actually, I don't know what we're doing. Otis is looking for work in Archer Dab. Yeah, well, but that's not the issue. Yeah, we made it back. Are we done here? Let's look at the map. No, we're not. We're really. Yeah, let's rephrase, re say that again. Yeah, we made it back, but we need to go uh, across the map and into the mountains, apparently. Because there's a map exit on the other side, and I forgot about it, because... Uh, yeah. Why did I ban Azor and unban him, asks Jung. Because Azor, uh, apparently, if you... Um, if you... Watch, or I'm not sure if it's about watching, or if it's just about... Um, about uh, commenting. Uh, but if you... If you comment while using a VPN... At least if you comment while using a VPN, then Twitch shadow bans you. And the shadow ban is really weird because it, you can't message me. I can't see that you're in chat. No, actually, I can see that you're in chat. But your messages don't show up. Um, and it's just, it's weird. So, uh, and it, I can't unban you. The shadow ban doesn't, like, I can't unban you. So what I did is I banned you. And, well, I banned Azor. And then I unbanned him. So, anybody out there that is listening right now, if you are shadow banned, if your messages don't show up on screen up there on the thing that's on that other side, uh, then that's why you use the VPN. And I know a lot of people use VPNs, so that's probably the reason. Or maybe just some VPNs. I don't know. It probably isn't just using VPN because, you know, you can use a VPN from your other computer in your the, uh, the other room or something or another network. And VPNs are not like a detectable thing under normal circumstances. They are detectable if you know the IPs, and it, usually they, people know because that's that's pretty straightforward. I've asked VPN, yeah, famous VPNs, you'll, you'll be easily detected as a VPN user. I was typing messages and no one was seeing them. Yeah, that's basically how that works. Can you mod your reward channels? Wait, can you mod your rewards for channel points yourself? Asks Unseen Banana. I'm actually not sure how the shadow, uh, how the how that works. You can see if one if someone has been banned, Azor was the reason one. Yes, uh, but Azor wasn't banned. It was shadow ban, shadow banned. So that's why I couldn't, I couldn't unban. Into the jungle, I mean, not into the mountains. Although this might be even more mountainous, because we're going up. The ship escape. I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the that captain looks like my cousin yet. send a detachment to duck except with less hair find anything not this one though. alert me immediately now get out of my sight wait he's the captain the wait who's the who's above captain I thought captain was like somebody very important so we are in oh this is the node we're in the jungle but yeah keep going up let's look at them over here it's just well, actually wait wait a minute this is weird we're inside of a dungeon. Let's use the death field as I was using before. 
Oh, if I press control in this map, it doesn't actually allow me to look up and down. Not in this map, in combat mode. That's kind of weird. To battle indeed. Thank you, battle them well. And we have some more droids. Oh no, I know exactly what they're here to... No, I don't know what they're here to... Wait. Malras? What do you mean, Malras? Diagnostic. For some reason, I cannot fire. Obvious statement. This was not anticipated. I am attempting to access my weapon systems, and I cannot. Alarmed embarrassment. If this gets back to the other units, we will be decommissioned. <laughs> Yeah, we will, you will, but you're also being decommissioned right now. You all say the same thing. And uh, I'm attacking the wrong person. Excuse me. I, I ha You have an enemy behind you who's also about to die. Systems are indeed failing. Welcome back, HK47. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Malras in here. Oh, that's right. That's the tigers. Or what look like tigers. Oh, I love the foliage. Look at the 2D foliage. I love this so much. It is so good. It is so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I grew up playing games like Tomb Raider and uh, Rally Championship 2000. You see the body of a Mandalorian soldier. He was killed in the last three or four days. Thank you, narrator, for telling me this information that I obviously have no access to. Three or four days. Hmm. And we have a cache door. This door is impenetrable to anything s short of high-grade explosives. I do have the pink explosive things. Also, why didn't you give me the square brackets like the narrator did before? Let's use thorium charges to open this door. Visus is the coolest, as we know, because she doesn't. She looks away from the explosions. Okay, so we're gonna need to. Yes. Uh, we're going to need to disarm... Recover, in fact, this mine. It's a blinding flash mine, mine. That is one way of calling it. It's just a flash mine. It's a deadly gas mine. I wonder if it blinding is the, cat the category. And that the, the lower... It's like a high level category. And then the lower level flash mines are just like... Bothersome flash mines. Or just sort of glaring a little bit in the eyes. Flash mines. What do we have? Uh, hyper adrenal strength... That's not too bad. Anything hyper is, is good. But I want the Hyper Battle Stimulant. Really weird name. They they have the same name in the first game, and I don't think it should be called like that. It should be Battle Hyper Stimulant. But whatever. It's because it's like, we're going into a hyper battle. Also, I got another Osus Keeper robe. And a Thermal Detonator. Which is actually the explosive charge rather than the detonator. But we, we don't question it too hard. Ah, lovely foliage. I love it. Uh, do you know a problem with media, with the media project that I was working on? We wanted to get those radio hosting things, and the provider could give a host only a fixed IP, so we had a dynamic IP that changed every time we connected. Yeah. Twitch channel, asking because they kind of blend as... Asking because Unseen Banana says, as RPGs focused channel, you should make them more special. What are you referring to, Unseen Banana? I didn't, I didn't see your... What what you were asking before? Hmm. Uh, explain game logic. Open door with high grade explosives, but the mines inside don't <laughs> don't detonate. It's a good call. It's a good call. Oh, we have remains over here. Droid quadrinium. That nah, doesn't matter. I can't even pronounce that. It doesn't. It's not gonna make it into the let's play. More of these. It doesn't make it into the let's play either. This combat is. Inconsequential. Do these show up in the movies? The Malras? They look very goofy. Very, very goofy. Oh, what do we have here? Hold it right there. We've got you surrounded. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? The thunder follows me. What I'm doing here? You guys are surrounding me. You guys are sur surrounding a a a a, dar a the Sith Lord. Ready? I mean, the the amount of thunder that's gonna unle be unleashed on these guys. Uh. 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna reply, actually. Just call it cocaine. And see, when I was referring to channel points. Oh, right. Uh, I see. I see what you uh, what you mean, Unseen Banana. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even know that you could custom you could customize them. I just thought it was a thing that that um, Twitch does, and yeah, because I'm not, I don't think I've ever seen them customized. The only thing, the only customization that I've seen is that the value sometimes changes. But I'm not sure. Like some channels have like enormous values for for you to unlock things, and other channels are very low. And I don't understand what they mean. I also don't really see the benefit of of the the the, um, the channel points. I, I don't. I mean, I suppose it's a way to re to reward people who watch the same streams but don't subscribe because you get you don't uh, subscribe yeah because you can just get the um um you get the the what's the, the things a little the the emojis thunder acdc likes that not one of my favorites of them when you put your let's plays videos do you just cut footage Want the game play, uh, gameplay feel disjointed? I do my best. That's actually very fun, Azor. Uh, I do my best. <laughs> exactly, Harry. I do my best to make sure that the gameplay feels cohesive. And in fact, I think, especially... Well, it depends on the games. But especially on New Vegas, I feel that the gameplay is a lot better. Well, not, not just in New Vegas. In every, every single Let's Play that I do. Watching the Let's Play... Or that I do out of a stream. Ev uh, watching the Let's Play is better and more cohesive than watching the streams because in the streams I ramble and also I talk to you fellas so uh, that also you know watching a stream when you're not there it's uh, when it's not live it's uh, it, it, it can get annoying at least it does for me when I watch a stream and, and the when, when you know when I watch a VOD specifically and the streamer is just talking to people it's like get on with the game and then I spend 20 minutes looking at the same screen because I'm talking about channel points um, but then in the Let's Play, not only do I cut out the combat that doesn't matter, the, the, I leave the combat that matters, obviously, uh, but I cut out the boring bits of the game or anything that's bad, uh, usually to make it a better show, basically. And uh, New Vegas is a good example of that. I get, like, the it's like the nice morsels, and everything is, is nice, hopefully. I have fun doing it. <laughs> Let's go with the first one. That one is kind of fun. What's with the, with Mandalorians and this damn moon? We claimed this moon decades ago. When we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat, some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? It is no business of yours. You're wrong. By landing here, you've made it our business. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. I'm not finished exploring yet. You are coming with us. I'm supposed to escort you peacefully, but the alternative is quite acceptable. So your choice is follow us as our guest, or see how Mandalorians have earned their reputation. By punching me out, knocking me out in a cutscene? Let's find out. Get ready to die. Looks like there'll be bloodshed before the day is over after all. For the glory of Mandalore. Look at that. It isn't... I'm not being knocked out in a cutscene. How nice of the game. I don't know what this is going to do with the Mandalorians, though. But I hope I didn't lock myself out of quests or anything. But that was Dark Side's point. Uh, Dark Side points gained. So I think I made the right choice. Uh, and now y'all are going to die. Let's see how fast they die. You know what? Off to a good start. Only... I need only five more times of that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, you're the toughest. That's why. Okay, well, let me get... Let me get you... A little bit of, uh... Death fuel to the face. Because that heals me. And it's also a very dark side. A very dark side ability. Oh, don't use... Why did you cancel? Oh, because he died. See? I'm not finished exploring. The nerve on some people, I tell you. Uh, okay, let's look around a little bit more then. Okay, so where did we come from, actually? We ca Oh, we have a passage to the Mandalorian ruins. Okay, well, I have this... Let's go this way. 
Uh, when I replay CRPGs or RPGs in general, I always end up going on the good side. Feel bad for going evil. This game is you feel good for being evil. Oh no. You're completely surrounded, Jedi. You will follow me now. No, it's the cutscenes again. Well, I guess I did the right choice then. Being evil for no consequence. Everybody knows that the Australian Mandalorians are the ones that actually do the job. Junk. Thrilling, thrilling footage. Do you ever play Might and Magic uh, f 6 through s or 7? I did play 7 a little bit, but I didn't uh, get into it, so I do have them. I think I have all Might and Magics, except the Legacy one. I don't have Legacy. Or maybe I do. I think they might have given it away for free. So you're the one that picked a fight with my centuries. The sensors also pick up your battle in space. You've had a pretty busy day. That ends now. No more fighting in our camp. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. No fighting in the war room, huh? Because it feels sort of like... A little bit like that. What is this place? This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Why did you use Dix Dixon? Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that's how it works, Harry. Maybe. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. Your camp looks like it's seen better days. Covert camps are not meant. I need to remember that they're dark side themselves. Because we conquered them. The people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians, so we keep our presence here a secret. Yeah, I thought Mandalorians were disbanded. They're scattered, perhaps, but we're still alive, alive and rebuilding. The only Mandalorians I've I've seen are thugs. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor and are now no more than common mercenaries. But that is changing. The path of honor? What exactly is the path of honor? He just said He just said that the purpose of the weak art is to feed the strong, a very dark side sentiment, I feel. Um but I, I guess you'd agree that that is not a, an honorable position to have. Although, of course, honor is relative, and so, you know, of course it can be if you set up honor as being, like, following a a, 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 a tenant or something. It, the point is, he doesn't say what it is, just says the path of honor in general. But what would it be? And why would they have fallen from it? It feels like being thugs is still, you know, <laughs> following that, that principle. Uh, I'm trying to get to Onderon. Do you know how I can get there? transportation you want it so happens i have a small shuttle that's more than capable of very covert operation military mm -hmm. blockade. i make occasional trips to isis for information and supplies if you i think that's where i wanted to go you're going to have to prove your worth why did you go to isis it's mandalorian business not yours that's what i said to the other one tell me why you're going to isis that's not going to work I've traveled with Jedi before, so I know all about your tricks. If you want something from me, you're going to have to convince me the old-fashioned way. That's very un unfair of you. Okay, I'll be going now. Thank you very much. And reload immediately, because... <coughs> I'm sorry. I ate peanuts. Um... Uh, before the stream, and apparently there's some peanut in, uh, in, uh, in my mouth still or something. And it went, it went into the gut or whatever. Ah. Uh, there's a, uh, huge ass, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want, 
I want to choose the other one. It's kind of weird that he says, you'll have to convince me the old-fashioned way, and then doesn't allow me to convince him the old-fashioned way. I have I have enough Persuade. That's one of my skills. And definitely enough Charisma. I believe it's just Persuade. We don't, we don't need Charisma. <clears throat> I'm not sure if Charisma adds to your Persuade skill. I don't think that works like that in uh, Dungeons & Dragons 3.0, which is what this is. I think. Could it be 3.5? I doubt it. Maybe it is, actually. Yeah. I don't know. It's, well, it's a, it's an offshoot of... Uh, of It's like an official version of uh, of Dungeons & Dragons. Because they made something for Star Wars. So Peanuts and dinner. Not dinner. I, uh... I was watching a movie. For the first time. In many years. Many years. Uh, so, uh, what is this place? Is what I asked. Oh, why'd you use the Kshong Kshong? You are bad. I thought you were disbanded. You're all thugs. I'm trying to get to I'm places. Why do you go there? Can't you tell me more than that? I could, but I don't know you. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more. But not now. You fool. Okay. Why do I have to prove myself to you? I don't travel with anyone I'm not sure of. You look capable, <laughs> but Isis can be a dangerous place. If you want to travel on my shuttle... I want to make sure you aren't going to be a liability. D these computer sounds are, are very good to have in your dialogue focused game. Everyone thought that Mandalore was dead, killed during the war. Mandalore is the name we give to our leader. Becoming Mandalore is the greatest honor any Mandalorian could aspire to. When our leader falls in battle, the most worthy takes his place. So even though your army killed our leader, it was only a matter of time before we chose someone new. Me. I'll be going now. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. I will note that he didn't actually tell me how I can prove him, myself to him. I didn't th feel that that was a very in-character thing to do, considering I've been bullish, is probably a word, t towards everybody. Mandalore has a shuttle that could get you to the city of Isis, but he won't take you unless you prove yourself to the Mandalorians. He suggests that you ask around in the camp and see if there are things you can do. Now, you see, he didn't actually suggest that. Uh, excuse me. I was, um, yeah, it's about the, I was gonna ask, well, whatever. Can you tell me about Onderon? When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon. It's kind of interesting that it's surrounded by, by my companions. When you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. You could say it's the only... Settlement on the planet because of the, that's what the settlement mean. Uh, sure, who is in charge of Onderon? It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin General Vaklu has a great deal of power in Isis as well. They disagree about many things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaklu during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. Mm hmm. Is Onderon part of the Republic? Onderon is a recent addition to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras in Republic history. Since joining... Why Republic darker? What does that mean? ...many wars and great battles. The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed in these times. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. They want to go back to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. Who's in charge of Onderon? It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin... General I don't think Mandalore I asked this before. I might have. Because well. he talked about they the queen before. They about many things, just like their citizens. We've yeah, but he didn't say this before. During the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen no, no, he did. Yeah, he said, he said that before. The, they, well, that's all I wanted to know about Onderon. I don't blame you. They're a sad people. I have some things to look into. I'll talk to you later. Actually, wait, before... What do you want? It's the... Have I proven myself yet? So far, 
far, you haven't done anything. That is true. Check back when you've done something worth my time. Is there anything you can think of I can do for you? There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some... That droid is weird, work. yeah. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip a switch. Why not just go back and do it yourself? We want to keep a low profile, so we've recalled all our patrols in the jungle. Setting off some high explosives isn't a textbook example of subtlety. Well, somebody's gonna have to settle them up, set you know, set them up off. So it's good. It sounds too easy. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you, nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. Nah, it's it's easy. Uh, what were you going to blow up? We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. Oh. I think I might have done that already. What are them? Uh, what are you? What, what? What are in them? <laughs> that's not how. That's not how you ask that question, is it? What is in them? The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. And why didn't the Republic dig them out? Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things. Oh, HK-47 is just weird. Even when they found some I'm of sorry. our caches, our engineers left them some presents. How big are the caches? They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. He did bug out, yeah. He's <laughs> on crack. They require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. How would Canucks be a problem, by the way? Canucks are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so, and you'll be fine. I'll see what I can do. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. You have to be kidding me. I can kill the end boss of the game. Also, HK-47, I can also kill you. Why are you doing that? My god. My god. Oh, also, um... Lab station. Uh, I thought it was a crafting station. That's the stuff that matters. Although, we are, we're fine for the moment. We don't need to worry too much about things. Nothing, I'll be going. Is what do you want the question you wanted to ask? Oh, uh, you just came back over here to be annoying. Because you're actually supposed to be over there, but he came over here to be annoying. Okay. Uh, well, we're not going in there. We're going around out here, and uh, we're going to bully all the soldiers. Uh, you should edit this Let's Play, this into Let's Play, and add that a beautiful morning for fishing. Every time he does a loop. I don't know what the beautiful or morning for fishing is. What was the movie, asks Jung. Knives Out. The Blu-ray edition thing. So not the... Not the real, the cinema thing. Kex, I've heard of you. What do you want? I... I've heard you like Kex. I like Kex as well. Chocolate Kex. It's my favorite. Uh, do, you get, uh, do you get everyone that way? Nah, just you. You're no Mandalorian. I don't know why Mandalores let you roam free, but I don't trust you. I'm Kex, the new quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalores ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free. He's, a he's got a little bit of Australian in him, doesn't he? Or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. What do you have to sell? Blasters, energy shields, armor, and other fighting gear. All in good condition. Though I doubt <laughs> Yes, that's a fair fair thing, Azor. <clears throat> do you have some sort of problem with me? Yeah, I do. I don't know why Mandalore would let some outsider roam around our camp without an escort. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. Mandalore must think you're something special. 
I am something special. I also was shot on sight. <laughs> Let's go with that, actually. I am, and you'd better not forget it. I won't. As long as the Mandalore's orders stand. If he wants you dead, though, then I'm gonna be the first one gunning for you. Hmm. How did you end up as a quartermaster? The greatest honor for a Mandalorian is to distinguish themselves in battle. But as age comes upon us, some are forced to find honor in other pursuits. They are sisters, freighter pilots, technicians, or quartermasters. There's honor there, but it's nothing compared to the heat of battle. For someone young like me, this task is distasteful. There are many battles left in me, yet I'm relegated to this. How did you wind up with a job? My predecessor was loading equipment from cash. I think I asked that question before, but he didn't answer it. engineers must have worked the double shift on that one. The old quartermaster was carrying out a load of blast converters and walked straight into a beam splitter. Pieces of them wound up all over. So I got the job, and here I am. Hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me about the area? It's bad enough. I have to stand. It sounds like he's 50. Nah, he's just Australian. You know how it goes. I'm not going to disgrace myself further by being your guide. The only advice I'll give you is when you're in the jungle. I felt that as, as well, Harry. There were too many. There were, there were a lot of references. Don't move, just to be sure. The 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 movie uh, early on specifically felt like there were a lot of references, and me not watching a lot of uh, Who Done It. Uh, it was like, mmm, I'm missing all the references. Uh, but the the actors are incredible. Like, fantastic cast. And uh, I the red herrings were good, and I, I liked them. I didn't see the plot twist at the end. The double plot twist, in fact. A lot of a lot of symbol not symbolism. Like analogy? Like like Um not a, yeah, it's not symbolism. It's like callbacks, you know, to little things. Um Yeah. Um good stuff. Uh, should, impression should watch somewhere in time. I believe I know what the movie is. Movie managed to get some tears out of my eyes, says uh, says Harry. Somewhere in time. I don't. Hmm. hmm. It's not a bad movie. Don't get me wrong, but it's not. Uh, wait, it's not a bad, but it's not bad. Hmm. That's. Yeah, I like I like the uh, the resolution. I feel I felt that the beginning was a little bit too. It was obvious the game is like the the game. <laughs> it was very obvious that the movie was like referencing things that I'm like, I don't know what that means. I mean, I do obviously it's part of the movie, but in the sense of like there, there's some common places and some things in in whodunits that you sort of pay homage to when you make one. In the game, well, the the movie seemed to be paying homage to a lot of that. Let me see what you have to sell. And we have a cell list. Well, actually, we're just going to leave it at that. Let's see. Weapons. Nothing here. Not as far as I can tell. Mandalorian heavy suits and... Ooh. Really bad armor. Well, actually... Oh, it's light armor. It's a it's a heavy suit, but it's a light armor. Don't don't question. That is, that is what it is. But also, plus zero. Plus zero on that. Oh, man. Where's the fun in that? Ooh, look at that. A plus three. That's proper. Flex heavy armor. It doesn't cost too much. We also have a Sith mask that isn't a Sith mask. No, no. Is it? This ma mask blocks outside mental influence and other sensory noises, allowing the user to focus their abilities inward with no distraction. Regenerates force points. It gains you immunity to stun, fear, and horror? I think that's what a a Aten has. It looks like the the icon looks like what Aten has. Might be wrong about that. And then up here we just have consumables, which is fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll worry about Aten later. So this guy doesn't want anything from me, which is a bit of a surprise. And uh, we have a bag of the credits back here, as you do in a military base. I don't watch much movies anymore. TV shows are better. Anime too. Yeah, that's. I don't watch many movies either. Um. That's the way out. I love the forest. 
It is so video gamey. I love it. Zuko. All right. Stand back. Let's it's another Aussie. It. Sith's blood. Fixing anything in this rot infested place is an uphill battle. What's the problem? I, I've never heard of a Mandalorian fixing something. Every Mandalorian dedicates himself to honor and loyalty. The duty of Mandalore is to focus our efforts to increase our strength and power. I am fortunate since not only can I fight, but I can also maintain and repair... <laughs> that backdrop looks so bad. <laughs> I love it though, but it looks really bad. Part of the honor is mine. So what's the problem then? This jungle attacks. Ghostface, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Welcome on. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. I've had some practice restoring computer systems. If you need a hand, I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack. Especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention. And our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole... My space battle, yes. We did fight in space. Then let's get to work fixing it. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I mean, yeah, we are in Dixon right now. He doesn't have the eye though, it's just Dixon. It's a really weird name for a anything. Structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. I know that reference for the phase pulse converter. Wait, do I? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, in where can I find one? We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but no, I don't. Can oxide it. They. They ate it. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But Why don't I, Ghostface? Is it not a reference? They can get in their mouth. Why don't you hunt them down? They're vermin. No challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. So how do you propose I find it? Just gut. Every canok you come across, you wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little... Yeah, yeah, it might. If it isn't a reference, I don't know it. But if it is, I think I know it. I think it's from from the first movie, or the fourth episode. So that is why the canoks that we found... Were they canoks? They might have been, or they might have not. But that's why they had loot in them. It's the things that they ate. Uh... And just as a reference, uh, I just said things for the edit before. This better be worth it. I'll start looking. All right, then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Damn it. The jungle is taking over everything. This place is a mess. Broken wires. The power wires here are damaged. It would take a lot of skill and parts to repair them. Uh, but not with me, actually, because I'm I'm kind of bad at that. But HK-47 is good, I think. In fact, yes, fixed the, the only for one part. You have fixed the broken wires. And got a little bit of experience, lost a little bit of items. Some people are punching each other over there. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else around here. Let's have a chat with them. So these are just recruits. Except for Zarga over there. Sharga, potentially. So, you're the Jedi the camp's been talking about. Are you planning on exploring the jungles to the south? How do your notifications go out on YouTube? I'm not getting them in a timely fashion. I'm always late, uh, says Ghostface. I don't use uh, YouTube's notifications. Uh, actually, that's not true. I do use one channel. There's only one channel that I am subscribed to that I have notifications on. Uh, but they only don't only publish like every once in a while, so uh, they seem to work for that. But I don't, I, I don't have anything sending to the phone. Uh, it's just uh, the little, like the little thing that shows up on the notification stuff. 
So I don't. I, I'm sorry. I can't help. But um, I do know that people complain that they they don't arrive on time. For my notifications or for my streams, it's pretty straightforward. I'm all, I always start at the same time, except on Saturdays. I start one hour later on Saturdays. Uh, but um, but yeah. So if that helps for your notifications, and also I upload videos always at the same time. It's uh, you know if you spot when they go up, that's that's when they go up. Uh, they not always the same episodes or the, not always the same series, but uh, but yeah. <sighs> Take my shoes off. I hate to can't play out the fact that it's hidden behind a loading screen. It's cool because I don't have a phone. Mm -hmm. If you use Chrome, there is an extension that gives you notifications. I think having too many notifications slows it down. Balgur, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Just started playing KOTOR in preparation to play this game. Uh, the first... Oh, you should finish it. Uh, there's Actually, yeah, the, the KOTOR 1 and 2, they're supposed to be part of a trilogy. They never finished the trilogy. But this game makes it a little bit more obvious that there's supposed to be a third game. Um, and the first game is a setup. So playing the first game is important before you play the second. At least playing a little bit. Uh, I really enjoy it. I, I mean, I think th this one is, like, incredible. And I'm having a lot of fun with it as well. Are they making a third game? As a sequel? Or just as a KOTOR? Because I know... Yeah, they are making a KOTOR. Yeah, I forgot about that. They never finished the trilogy. I'm having Half-Life 3 PTSD. It's a sequel! My god, that's gutsy. They're gonna screw it up. There's no way they're gonna be able to make a game that is a sequel to a 20-year-old game? No way. No way. That's like making a Final Fantasy. I don't, no. They they're gonna they're gonna make it weird. They're gonna make it weird. Who who's making it? It it is. Oh right, that's right. We don't know who it is. I mean, we sort of know who it is. It's a new studio that's that was formed uh, like three years ago. Uh, but it's like uh yeah eh, maybe maybe it's gonna work. I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? So you're the Jedi of the camps. The camps have been talking about. Are you exploring the jungles to the south? None of your business? You're wrong. It is my business. It isn't. While you're a guest in this camp, you can start earning your way. I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways of discipline and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. What would you like to be changed in the new edition? Uh, whew, I don't know. They're not gonna. It's not gonna be. You can't really think about it like a change. They're not gonna change anything from these games. They're not gonna be based on this at all. They're gonna make whatever new games are made like. They're going to look at the success of the latest Star Wars and probably going to... I mean, they're not going to necessarily make a copy of it, but they're going to they're gonna base it off of new games, not about the, the old games. So an unknown studio makes the third KOTOR. This sounds shady, says Harry. It's more or less like that. But there's, there's uh, like, veterans of the industry. Uh, so it's not just, you know, just some, some folks. I mean, and some folks are perfectly capable of making a good RPG. They, anybody can make... Well, not anybody, but... You know, there, there's precedent to new companies making good RPGs. It'll fail miserably. Fallen Order was great. I haven't played Fallen Order. I really want to play um, Fallen Order. But I think the, the thing is, regarding what I would like to see in a game that is based off of KOTOR 2, I would like for... Lightsaber... I would like for lightsaber combat to not use the same systems as normal combat. I would like... Honestly, like, this game... It's kind of funny because it's based off of more or less the same engine. This game should have the same combat system that... Um, that the original The Witcher has for just mob combat. And uh, it should have a way more in-depth, uh, like, buff systems and all that sort of stuff. But then when it comes to, like, fighting with a, with a lightsaber, it should be different. It should use a different system so it, it, it feels a little bit more special. But then you use lightsabers against normal mods and... Mm, I don't know. Um, I think it would have worked better as a classic RPG. 
the ending was rushed. The ending was absolutely rushed, yeah. Let's see. I sent one of my warriors. Why do you want the body? Mm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. Anything I find in the jungle is mine. Mm, do as you will, but you won't impress anyone here by scavenging through the jungle for the gear of our fallen brothers. Not my business. Just as my business is not yours. Well, our training home. Oh, the galaxy will fear us once more. Will, will it? Will the galaxy fear you? I think I'd like to see truly sandbox open RPGs to keep uh, all the dice rolling in the background. We change the combat even more FPS type like. Mm, I don't think, I don't think you can have the, a typical RPG system in a, in a first person shooter. Like in a say, in a, when I say it, a typical RPG system is like um, skills and stats and all that sort of stuff. Because it, it just makes the shooter not good. Ooh, where does this go? Because, you know, if your character is not good at shooting, then you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> Why would you have a bad time in a shooter? I want to have a good time. It's a shooter. It's supposed to be a good time. Old RPG students are all dead. Why can't people get over it? I don't know. I don't think they're all dead. Like, Pillars of Eternity 2 is an old school RPG. And uh, Pillars of Eternity 1 and Tyranny. Those are all old school RPGs. So, is that the main entrance? Where what are we looking at here? To the jungle. So that is just the back of the... Okay, I see. The guard captain. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. To bail me out of trouble... I don't need your warnings. Oh, just like that. If you head outside the camp, remember that there won't be any patrols around to bail you out of trouble. I can just say no to that, apparently. Not really an RPG. It is an RPG, it's just the shooting is is I don't I don't think I don't think the shooting It's too but it's it, it's the problem it's the problem with every shooter RPG. It's based on health of enemies. And so basically, it's just a simple shooter. It isn't. It doesn't feel like a, like a an actual shooter. You can't do headshot. Well, you actually can do headshots, uh, but you can't do what headshots one sh uh, like one kill headshots for most enemies, and it feels like many of them feel like bullet sponges. I definitely think that uh, the outer world shouldn't have nearly as much combat as it does. But for people who like shooting, I suppose that it is what it is. How are you liking the DLC for the outer worlds? Uh, I'm liking it. I. Uh, I think they are going in a different direction for from the other DLC, and it's honestly something that um, it's kind of interesting. the The first DLC is something that the main game doesn't have uh, in terms of uh, like such a focused exploration of a of a single area as big as that. And this one is so focused on interacting with it, like a big mission. It's basically like a, a whole planet, but based based around a single mission, as far as I can tell. Uh, and that looks interesting, but it's very uh, dialogue dialogue heavy, which is good. But it's uh, it, it does require you to pay attention to a lot of stuff. It's not like oh, let's talk to a new NPC and it's something completely different. No, you need to remember. You need to retain a lot of the info that you get. I don't understand my hatred of combat in games. I don't hate combat in games. I love combat in games. One of my favorite RPGs is Baldur's Gate. It has combat all, all over the place. What I don't like is combat that doesn't matter. It's like, um, you know, like filler combat, basically. And the outer, world, the outer world just has too much filler combat. It's like, why are you killing anything in that game? There are some missions where killing stuff matters. And, like, you go into the boar, boar, boar worst, I think, boar worst factory... And there's some enemies there that matter, or you go into the last the few the last missions, or there's a, there's a bunch of missions where combat matters, and that feels good that you go in there because you're doing whatever you're supposed to do. But out in the wilderness, none of it matters. It's just 
set dressing. It's like it's pointless. It's totally, totally. It's like this game has a lot of it as well, where you go around and kill a bunch of canucks or whatever. It's just like, why? Why? It's not. You're not. It's not challenging. It's not. It's just a waste of time. And that's why I don't include it in the let's play because it's not. Why would you? Like, if you want to watch a let's play, which is gonna. I mean, if I'm not gonna be saying any, if I am saying something interesting over the dialogue, then then yeah, I, I will include it in the let's play, but over the combat, I should say. Uh, and Fallout is a good example. Uh, Fall, you play Fallout One and Two. Fallout Two, not so much. There are a few a few rare areas that feel very different as well, uh, but there are a few rare areas that uh, that are very combat heavy for no reason. And I say for no reason, but it isn't always for no reason. I can tell you the three areas that Fallout Two has the combat that is excessive and it shouldn't have as much. Uh, but you play Fallout 1 and 2 and it's not about the combat. You do fight, but only when it matters. And in Fallout 2, there's three areas. That's, there's the Wendigo Mines in Klamath. There is the uh, Gecko mi the gecko area in... Uh, or the, a large part of the Gecko areas in... in um... Is it Klamath? The Wendigo Mines is not in Klamath. Is it... Where? No, it's not Klamath. What is it called? Redding. Right, the Indigo, the Indigo Mines in Redding is just way too much combat, and you shouldn't have... There's no reason for that to be like that. Uh, it's just like, cut it in half, and you're good to go. Um, the uh, geckos are way too many... There's way too many geckos. They're a little bit optional, so it's fine. Uh, but there's a, way too many geckos in, in, uh, in Klamath. Uh, and um, the other one is the last last area of the game has way too much combat. But it feels... It feels it, it, that one doesn't feel as bad, but that wasn't that wasn't the one I was thinking of. Oh, there's a couple of missions in Modoc that are exclusively combat. Is it is it Modoc? I'm not sure actually. There's one where you're supposed to save the cows, and it's just boring as hell. It's a bad mission. The combat is a bad mission because there's nothing to the mission, uh, and the combat is just it's finicky and it's bad. It shouldn't be like that. Um. There's, there's one there that's supposed to save the cows. And there's another one they're supposed to kill some rats in a garden. So it's, again, another bad mission uh, in the sense that it doesn't do anything. And it's just a bunch of rats that you kill without getting hit a single time because you just kite them around. Uh, but other than that, Fallout is a perfect example. The first two games are a perfect example of having a good amount of combat in the game. A game that doesn't really focus on combat too much, but it has enough combat to make it feel relevant. But not enough, not, not so much combat that you're just pad it and it doesn't matter all of it matters kernel rpg wants only turn-based combat not i'm not talking specifically about turn-based combat you can have too much combat in in real time as well and fallout is turn-based so yeah outer worlds made like a made in china <laughs> mass effect uh i don't know in term if you're talking about the companions i was thinking the other day about the companions of the outer worlds um I, need, I still need to ruminate on my op on my opinions about that. Uh, there's there's a very big difference. I think yeah. I don't know where I w when I was talking about it. There's a very big difference between the way Obsidian does companions, and uh, that applies to this game as well, by the way, uh, and the way Bioware does companions. Whenever Bioware does a companion, they want it to be like a standout character, and it's in it's whatever standout whatever character they are. That's the standout character, and you're gonna remember them. Uh, but Obsidian doesn't do that. Obsidian likes to use companions as as world building, and th th the Outer Worlds is a game where it shows the most. It absolutely shows the most that companions are world building. Um, Sam, Sa Max, I should say, not Sam. Sam doesn't matter; he's a robot. But Max is a, a huge example of that. Uh, Ellie is a good example of that. But I think Parvati is is, is the best example because she serves as a, uh, an audience audience surrogate. Uh, for a lot of people, not not necessarily for me, but for a lot of people, because she has a, a, a sort of hopeful attitude towards the world she lives in, uh, and she's not necessarily capable of seeing the wrong in the world that she lives in, which is basically what happens to a lot of people in real life, and so she acts in a way that a lot of people act in real life. It's like, uh, the, yeah, she's she's the audience surrogate, surrogate, which is weird, because in an RPG, usually your character is the audience surrogate, because you just are given the options directly. But what happens in the Outer Worlds, I think, uh, what happens in the Outer Worlds for um, for it to, to feel, I assume, it, it might be what Harry is talking about as a Made in China mass effect, um, is that the... It doesn't feel as flavorful, the companions. 
it's very flavorful, any design by Bioware. It's very flavorful. And the Outer Worlds is flavorful in the world building. It's, it's very blatant, it's very garish. <laughs> Not just in colors, but in actual storytelling. But then the characters sort of fall short. But I think that is the story that the game wants to tell. The Outer Worlds is a game about different people having different capacities of understanding the world they live in. And it's, that's, I, I, I still think that is what the game is about. It's just you going around in a world that is mad and is just completely wild and, and weird. And then people in there being oblivious to the real situation that they're in. And different people are oblivious, oblivious to different aspects of their world. But Parvati is a good example of that. Sam is a good example. Uh, Ellie and uh, Nyoka, for sure. All the companions are a good example of that, but they they just don't come as flavorful. Although, I, I do think it's mostly Sam and, and Ellie that are not very flavorful. I say Sam, but it's Max. I'm, I'm talking about Max. Parvati is innocent, kind of naive. Uh, yeah, she, she comes across as that. Also, the companion Jedi Fallen Order are cool. Last one is 100% unfinished, but still amazing. <laughs> unfinished companions is kind of a bummer. Uh, they did that in Mass Effect as well. In Mass Effect 2, there's a character that is more or less unfinished. But it's my favorite character. Is that uh, that bald woman full of tattoos. I don't remember exactly if she has tattoos or uh, a BDSM harness. <laughs> I don't actually remember what she is. I think she has a, she has a, um, a romance. I don't remember her name, though. It has been a... Uh, a, uh, a long while since I played Mass Effect 2. She has both. <laughs> the Outer Worlds is just a demo of what it could be. Yeah, if they did, well, if they didn't have the combat, they could focus on the storytelling, but I don't think that's, that's what, they didn't, they never wanted it to have more storytelling than it already has. Uh, I do think that it has to way too much combat. So, head in, head outside the camp, remember, yeah. Why'd you call off your patrols? Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. If any of the Onderon military comes searching for those ships, we don't want them finding our base. Three ships. There was my ship and the Duros ship. Who was the third? I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land in any of the Burp. clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxan beasts, the crew's probably already dead. Why are you hiding from the Onderon military? The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. Is there anyone else on the moon? Who knows? Our relay dishes down, and until Zuka repairs it, we're blind. The Onderon military has that. cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still, our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. Can I help with the relay dish? No, let's not say that. Why would they search the planet? I don't know. Duck Sun's all jungle except for this camp. Can I help with the relay dish? If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp, just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires and he won't be far. Also, what do you mean by larger beasts? We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge. Don't know what it is. For Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. What's a Zakeg? It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. Yeah, I think you're wrong. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Oh, that's what the honor is. Mm -hmm. So basically it means that the thugs don't fight enough.
No beast on this moon is a match for me. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. Sounds good to me. Zoka, I'm still... Okay, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, is it just the sparking wires that I need for you, Zuka? Oh, maybe the terminal. Excuse me. This doesn't look like the computer to access... Wait, let me... To, uh, to access the relay dish. Perhaps you'll find that in the building beneath the relay dish in the northern section of the camp. That is what where we are going, yes. And I'm going to save the game because uh, the camp has a little bit of a circly circles. One of the many reasons why... Uh, I edit the walking around part out of the, the, the let's play because it doesn't matter. Saves come. No, do you mean I save or do you mean that I should reload? I think you mean that I should save. There's a sergeant here. So the Jedi comes to grace. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. I am a real warrior. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. Mm, the last time I tried this, things didn't go well. Do I get anything if I win? We are not merchants. We are Mandalorian. That's not what the getting thing means. The lost here is honor and perhaps some skill if you have the capacity to learn. I see. None of you are merchants except for Kex. Oh, and you have a repairman. Do you have uh, janitors too? Be careful when you ridicule a Mandalorian. If Mandalore hadn't ordered us to... Is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, what are the rules of the battle circle? Two rules to change. Once you enter the circle, you leave the circle only if your opponent is defeated. This is the not going to go well. Is never kill anyone in the circle. Hmm. The other rules are decided for each individual fight. The challenger must abide by the terms set by the warrior they challenge. Since you are new, the terms aren't yours to make. Break any rule and the battle is over and you are dishonored. Oh, I want to fight in the battle circle. You are new here. So you will fight Davril. He is Davril. Here and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davril, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi ah. tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your ah. weapon away, Jedi. Don't ah. step out of the circle ah. and pull any death blow. No one dies in the ah. battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will ah. experience a true ah. fight. Will I? Because the last time I tried this, it really did not go well for me. Uh, I still need to go back to that planet, actually. Um, uh, so... <laughs> Look at that guy, he's still fighting over there. Because they didn't stop his animation. Hey, come at me. So, critical strike, flurry, power attack. I need to brush myself in the knowledge of what exactly those things are, because I, I don't actually know. Lower defense, not a deal. Characters suffer a minus two to defense while using this. The flurry. What is the power attack? The power attack lowers att uh, attack rating. So I'm just going to go with a normal attack. Yeah, I'm just going to go with a normal attack. I also will... Um, he said literally no Jedi tricks, but said nothing about Sith tricks. <laughs> that's that's not what he means. See you later, Jung. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. Also, we're going to need to be mindful of our forms. Hmm.
I think I'm going to go with this form over here. The resilience. Because defense is going to be important. Let's see if I can pull it off. Plus, blaster defect. It didn't say anything about blaster deflect. So, normal attack. Immediately off to a good start. And I'm healing over time. And, yeah. We got this. Unless he, of course, heals. But there's no items, so... This is going well. Okay, that didn't... There we go. Experience points gained. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. Davril. Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. I will, but these guys are blocking... They're making noise, and I hate it. I hate it. Also, I need to recover my... My, uh... Uh... Energy. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Also... Yeah, the weapon got... Got, uh... Deselected. That's kind of a, a bad thing. We have ourselves a workbench... Telemetry computer. Uh, this looks like exactly what I'm looking for. Although... Is it skills? Yes, it is. Computer use. Is Visus good at computer use? She is good at computer use. Visus, do the computer thing. I'm not good at this. There we go. So this telemetry computer has been painstakingly reassembled. Its core programming, however, appears corrupted. And I'm going to reprogram the core just like that. The core has been reprogrammed and fixed. Just like that. 575 experience. That is... That is... That is easy, easy task. And I could have done that as well with the... Is it spikes that we use? I think it is. I could have done it with just five spikes. It's not even that much. There's an anger over here. But this doesn't go anywhere. It's locked. And I say it doesn't go anywhere because look at the map. It's clear it doesn't go anywhere. This one is less clear. Uh... What is this? A canny dueling shield. Mandalorian shuttle. This is a G-wing that the Mandalorians use. Oh, that's... They mi... Oh my god, I can't believe they made it. You can't use this right now. Yeah, I don't want to. Did you see they pluralized Mandalorians with an apostrophe? That is... That is worse than... Than ellipses with... With more than three dots. That is just... That's egregious. <laughs> that is just like, how would you even ever get that into a production game? Like, I mean, whatever. That is incredible. That is unbelievable. I, I don't fully understand why English... Uh, speakers, well, it's not just English speakers, but English speakers seem to have a lot of trouble with the pluralization. Uh, they just put apostrophes when they shouldn't, and it's super weird to me. But then again, my language doesn't have that issue, because we don't use apostrophes. So, although people find ways to, to mess it up when they're speaking English. Um, but anyway. I'm fully healed, you noisy truck. Oh, Shirgrin, Brailor, a lot of R's in their names. Davril. Jedi are skilled warriors, and I am young. I will train very hard to match you in combat next time. But there are others already here who are more than your equal. Braylor is one of the mightiest among us. He could teach you humility. Really? Let's find out. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strength. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross Let me see how clean the left the side is. Circle. It's not very clean. I don't think so. You don't seem as aggressive as the other Mandalorians. This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. 
Can I choose who I fight? No. It is up to the sergeant. The battle circle was not designed to settle petty vendettas and rivalries. Its primary purpose has always been teaching. Learning from books or holovids is useless when battle rages and soldiers are dying around you. Real knowledge can only be gained through combat. Perhaps we can learn from one another in time. Okay. So, what about you? This is our battle circle. It's another Aussie. This place is for Mandalorians alone. Even if the sergeant lets you fight with us, you will never truly be one of us. I don't want to be truly one of you. I want to be fakely one of you, so I can get the rewards and all that. Here to watch a fight or to participate. I want to battle. After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. <laughs> exactly. Next, exactly, master. Harry. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. Oh, really? Why does he want to fight me? As quartermaster, he has little opportunity for any glory in training. He isn't as skilled as Davril. What would be appropriate? The battle circle is for training. It is best to choose something that will test both of your limits. In this case, swords would be a good choice. It is something neither one of you are completely familiar with. But the choice is ultimately yours to make. Yeah, no further terms. I can use my lightsaber and the force. He can use anything he wants as well. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. I will kill him. Actually, I forgot that I don't have my lightsaber. It's a good thing you can change it midway through combat. Uh, let's just go with normal attacks. And I will now proceed to destroy him. Sounds like a plan. Also, I did your uh, dish. Look at the dish. It's working good back there. Hey, stop it. There we go. Man, easier than the other one. I mean, I guess it makes sense. And down you go. The match between Kex and Jedi is what over. is HK-47 doing? Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. I will. Let me go talk to Kex. Kex! I like Kex! Many Kex. Give me all the Kex. He's back to his normal things. Just doing his uh, computing, I suppose. Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? Oh, wait. You're Zuka. I'm sorry. Names are very familiar. Uh, yeah, both the cables and the telemetry computer are working now. That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Look, I have some extra parts and computer spikes. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than I can. I suppose I definitely can make it make better use of them because you are bad and also confusing because you all look the same. I need to talk to your quartermaster. Kex. Oh, look at you. You're still bruised. You hear to gloat over your victories in the battle circle. Save it for someone else. So why are you back? To gloat over my victories in the battle circle. That's why I'm back. <laughs> That is a that is an unfortunate line that they wrote for him. The so why you're back line is just his normal line when he's uh, when you go back. But before that line he has that the the thing you're here to gloat over your victories. And then yeah, unfortunately that didn't work out quite well. Here to watch a fight or to participate. It's the participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin. What are your terms? Just fist and foot like your fight with Davril. Nothing else. Tagrin chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed and absolutely no use of your force. He didn't do air quotes though. The subtitles clearly indicated air quotes. I don't know what this acting is. Okay, a miss right away. That is very unfortunate because I took a kick to the face. Okay, I'm doing more damage. No, I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. Oh, yeah, this is not good. Hmm.
think we're gonna need to try this again. This is actually it's wrecking my stuff. Huh. The match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. Tagrin is the clear and honorable victor. Against any full Mandalorian, it appears you cannot win. Come back if you want a rematch. I'm sure that Tagrin could use the exercise. I could use the, the exercise. Let me also do the burst of speed. Because I... Excuse me. Yes, yes. Because I don't know if you, you, you heal me. Oh, the burst of speed goes away. That's quite unfortunate, actually. Uh, well, I guess uh, we're gonna need to make do. Oh, but yeah, the the hit chances are incredibly, incredibly low because I have basically never hit. Oh my god. Oh, I got a hit in there, but. I'm just not gonna be able to do this. Hmm. I, I have a helmet. What is this? This is the regal visor. I can't remember. Uh, why many times in many games the subtitles don't match the spoken lines? Hmm. I don't know. I think in some games it happens that they have different versions for the scripts. So basically you write the lines and you send the lines out to be recorded. And then you change the... the the script after the recording it doesn't happen all that often but in the case of the air quotes it's just uh, they shouldn't use air quotes in spoken text you don't use air quotes in spoken text just don't use air quotes in spoken text unless you're somebody is actually saying woo, 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 then you use air quotes because that's that's how it works and that's why when i read air quotes i i talk like this to annoy everyone so that everybody hates air quotes as much as i do that's that's the that's that's the thing I have an attack modifier over here. This is the one I... That attack modifier is only for pistols, though. I think. I'm gonna go with the targeting visor. Jal Shay. Ooh. Hmm. And with the Akani accuracy glo gloves in here. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh. No, oh, there we go. We got this. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so the fact that we heal as well means a lot. It means, basically, this battle might be doable. Well, it definitely is doable, because there's a way to cheese battles in this game. But I'm not going to cheese it. If I can't do it, I'm not going to do it. Uh, we are taking damage a lot, though. Oh, yeah, even with that, the accuracy is tremendously bad. Okay. Shh, that is bad. I'm not allowed to use items, no. So this is a defense bonus of three. I can bring my defense bonus up to seven. My dexterity, yeah. I'm really bad on this. I mean, it's the it's the best I can do right now. Let's try it. Here to watch. Tag. Hello. Okay, normal attacks because everything else reduces my attack rating, 
which clearly is the problem here. But I still take a lot of damage. Fucking hell. I mean, I, d I deal plenty of damage, but it's just not enough. Let's move around a little bit. Do I... Re oh. Oh, the game bugged out. <sighs> yeah, the game locked me for some reason. Here to watch. You're supposed to lose the battle if you move out of the thing, but if I move around... I think it's my robe that uh, gives me a regeneration. I can try healing. Let's try healing. Oh yeah, immediately lose the battle. No healing. Maybe I'll level up a bit. Nah, my build is just terrible again for these things. I have I have negative one strength and plus one dexterity. It's it's really bad. There's no way around it really. The hope is that I lend enough hits and res oh there it is. Yeah, cuz I do a lot of damage. Oh, this is going well. Unfortunately, it immediately st Oh, oh. This scumbag is off to a good start. Cuz this is save scumbable. A close a close fight. Ah, uh, I can do it. I can do it. The problem is it's 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 a boring saves coming thing. So uh, let's find out. Let's find out how this goes. If it's the last time I need to to do melee. Ooh, I actually dodged that. I didn't dodge that second one. Man, I take so much damage. That was really close. Looks like he never misses. He does miss every once in a while. Let's uh, make a judgment call here. Okay, we're gonna save here. Come on! gonna reload and that's the safe scummy bit is that last bit I I'm okay with it yeah this is beatable it's just a lot of tries uh, and save midway through combat that's fine enough man those misses woohoo land that come on it's almost there. It's unbelievable. Like, come on. I got lucky twice in a row in, in the in the first part. I think we can do it. Oh, screwed it up again. Wow, can you believe that? Can you believe that? Think I can do it? I can pull it off? Oh, freaking hell! He gets more defense when he's low on health. Ooh, I pulled it off. The match between Ooh. Jedi and Tagrin is over. Saves come for the win. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought honorable. today. Honorable. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves <laughs> worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp, Braylor and Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. Well, I guess the aid is closed to me then. You could have left me with a little bit of healing. My god. Anyway, back to the equipment that I had. Yeah, well, if the fight against the other two is going to allow me to use my, my lightsaber... Then I don't think we're we're in trouble. 
This is the one that I, yeah. Uh, okay, that's back to normal things. Let's talk to the guy that we, we killed. That wasn't even the safest coming that I could have done. Targren! You have prowess in battle, this cannot be denied. That. Your Jedi teachings prevent you from having a true warrior spirit. Jedi couldn't have beaten us in the Mandalorian Wars. It took a fallen Jedi to gain that honor. Oh! <laughs> that is true that I'm a fallen Jedi. Okay, so... How do I do that? So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. Oh. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Can you vouch for me in the battle circle? I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross. And you'll have your opportunity there. I suppose so. Yeah, there's nothing else for me to do here. There's shuttle anger back there, but that's only for accessing the other ship that we can't use. You never were... You were never a truly truly a Jedi. Deep in your soul, you're always a Sith. Uh, I, th I think it's, suppose it's it's canonically true. What I uh, That's what I choose to... to say. With this character. So I suppose that's time to go into the jungle. Ah, lovely trees that are lovely and lovely. Oh, they even kept them in the loading screens. They know how lovely they are. Wait, where are we? Oh, it's, it's this camp. Hey, you fools. You finally arrived, Jedi. I don't know who I is. seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. And the thunder follows me again. You are a fool to challenge me again, Davril. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle. Well, you also face a, f f face a, a true Sith Lord, who isn't even fully healed. But I'm about to be fully healed pretty soon. Yes, to battle indeed. The weak serve to feed the strong. And I shall feed on your remains, because what do they have? Mandalorian combat suit, a Republic blaster, and a Vibro sword. Alrighty. Hey, you didn't see anything about that? I have nothing to say to you. He has nothing to say to me. Okay. He's not very accustomed to dealing with women. Mandalorians don't have women. They have kitty cats in the wilderness. Also, where could the super giant lizard be, I wonder? Have we seen it before? I got the impression that there was a mention of it before, and I just forget? Maybe? Anyway. Oh, this keeps going. Oh, I think this is where the lizard lives. I would beat all the those Jedi's bare hand. Would you now? Especially if they didn't have bare hand uh, training, like I don't. I'm very bad at it. Oh, it's a Canock! Which means that it might have something in its belly. Well, it definitely has something in its belly, but what is it? Its remains. Face Pulse Converter. The core, specifically. Is that... Is it the, Do I only need the core, or do I need other stuff? Oh, look! It's the giant lizard! It's not even that giant. Wait a moment. Do you see that boma over there? The force flows through even these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you will be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment. Primal and unsophisticated. I feel it. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes. 
like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. Beast control? That's what I learned. Is she teaching me beast control after I learned it? I'll try. No, let's... This shouldn't be difficult. She's teaching me beast control after I learned it. Unless it isn't. You came close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence especially. Violence especially is my middle name. Can anything else be done with beasts? With the force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now. You have gained the power beast trick. Wait. That's why I couldn't gain it before. Oh. Maybe, maybe instead of... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble finding the thing. But maybe instead of using or getting this power... Beast Mind, Forced Confusion, Mind Trick, Beast, beast Trick. No, I, did I have that? I don't think I had that before. I did have Mind Trick and then Forced Confusion. I don't know, because maybe I couldn't get that before. I remember there was a skill that I couldn't get. So we have a Boma. Bomas are nice. I'm going to save just in case because they, they might be nice, but they also may kill me. Maximum four, Force Points, Skills Increased and all that. This thing is bad. It is hurting me in the moment, and I am not appreciative of that. And also, you're not attacking, which is uh, very much not at all what I want. Oh, I see why. You're you're stuck. The game betrays you. I understand. Let's attack there. Let's continue doing this. This is going to be an easy fight. Life steal is super overpowered. And now we have whatever... Oh, it's a trophy. We're just going to get a trophy. Right? Or is this not... Wait, this isn't the big lizard. It was just a, a normal lizard. Oh, man, I look, look at the forest. I love it. Another game that it reminds me of, although it, it, that one had a lot better graphics, is uh, Hidden in Dangerous 2. And also Hidden in Dangerous 1. That one had bad graphics. But Hidden in Dangerous 2. A really cool game. Very contemplative. Animal fr friend perk level two, kind of. And uh, these these canucks didn't contem contemplate that uh, I could kill them. I can't take their stuff though. Curiously enough, there's a young boma over there. Yeah, these guys are just around. I have both seen forever. I have them both since forever, but never played them. Uh, which one? Which, which, uh, oh, Hidden and Dangerous. Yeah, the first one is a lot... Is It's buggy. The second one isn't as buggy. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're fun games. They're difficult games as well. Some of the missions are, are difficult. It's clear that they're not the most balanced games in existence. Uh, and uh, that whole thing of tactical screen in Hidden and Dangerous 2 just doesn't work. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> but... Pomegranate detonator. Of course, that's definitely what is written over there. You there, I, I am in need of your assistance. Are you, are you Cumus? Sharga thought you were dead. I'm Cumus. And Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I am just in a difficult situation. Whatever trouble you're in, I couldn't care less. Do you expect me to beg? I am not going to barter for my life. I only ask That's not what barter means. That's the second time this game does this. Noble death than this. Yeah, that's not what barter means. You mean, um... Bargain. I do not understand. It's the second time the game does this. But, you know, whatever. If Mandalorians pride themselves on strength, 
You are a weak specimen. If you will not aid me, then we have nothing more to say to each other. Leave me. Well, I didn't find with whatever. What is this thing? You see a pomegranate detonator. It's used to set off pomegranates uh, that are linked to it. Don't touch that button. It'll blow up all my charges. You mean this button here? No! Statement. Your actions make me proud to be your loyal droid. Oh, HK. You sweetheart. And th I gained influence with him. Lovely. I'm not sure I need to gain influence with him. Oh! This is why that guy couldn't get out of there. Because there are some young boomers or bomas over here. Pathetic. Look at how easily they go down. I mean, admittedly, I'm super powerful, but still, I mean, he's a Mandalorian. They, they're all like, I'm so good. But they're not good. They're bad. The only way they get can beat me is by punching me. Can you believe that? They're so bad they can only beat me by punching. That was so cartoonishly evil. It was. It's that's half of the dark side in this in this uh, in this game. But it's kind of interesting because it's it's also juxtaposed to learning that dark side is more than just being cartoonishly evil. Uh, just some more of these things. I really shouldn't take my uh, lightsaber out for this. Where's the where's Visus? She's here. Doing vicious things. I think we might be about to come across the large lizard. Something tells me. No, it's just a little tiger. A Malraj. Does it have double A double A? It does have double A double A. It, it, no, it's two double A batteries. You know how it goes. Perfect. Oh, there's more of them. That's less perfect. To be honest, this thing uh, this is not a bad thing. Sometimes the evil path feels like a spoof parody of Star Wars movies. Yeah, I think maybe... I don't know. I, th I think maybe they wanted um, Kreia to serve as a sort of a grounding for your uh, your evil path. But she never says anything too, too deep. About what? The, well, she does. She does say that oh, it's just killing people is not dark side enough. But you need to remember yourself. Like she's not overly insistent in that, which is fine. I suppose it's fine. We have found skeletal corpses. That is better than actual skeletons. And also, that's more or less. Still, just as unrealistic because the boomers would, or bomas or whatever would have probably eaten the corpse. Oh, we found the lizard. It looks goofy. It looks really goofy. Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, these guys are actually pretty strong. Okay, let's take them out. Take them, take them. Good, okay. Let's get a quick save in here, and see the Zack Egg. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to go well. Let's follow the strategy as, as usual. So, does it do a lot of damage? It does not. It does 17 damage. It does as much as a Mandalorian Punch, which I assume is a lot of damage, but it also is pathetic, so we're fine. It's resisting. Let me look at your face. It looks like a goblin. Did they really design? Did they really design this creature for the movies? Also, level up. Cause it looks, it looks so goofy. So goofy. A Zakeg ear. That's the trophy that I need. And uh, skeletal corpses. See, the Zakeg is a herbivore. Er Otherwise, it would have eaten the corpses. We have a Mandalorian combat suit and battle stimulants. That's fine. We have another 
skeletal corpse. It's actually a skeleton. Nor is robe and some crystals. And some other stuff that really doesn't matter. And this thing over here that I can't pick up. Let's see what about the robes. Norris robes. Are they Chuck Norris's robes? They No, they just add a little bit of defense. Stained with pigments from the beautiful and rare Norris root found on the planet Almar, these robes are naturally resistant to energy. That is, if you didn't know what energy meant uh, in real life, it, that sentence would not make any sense. But we have leveled up, so let's take care of that. Attributes, that is lovely. Uh, we got constitution. I wonder if that's retroactive. I suppose it might be. Ah, uh, my back. In the movies, we have Jabba the Hutt and Jar Jar, so yeah. I think the design is okay. The names are what really drives them home into being just goofy bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go with constitution here, because I need the health. And also resistances. I think it applies retroactively. I hope it applies retroactively. I think it does. Uh, and then we have some uh, persuasion. Some awareness and some computer use. Two computer use, in fact. Treat injury can remain. Uh, we have sneak attack level four. Provides plus three to all saving throws. Nah, I don't need that. Do I want improved to weapon fighting? Probably do, actually. Well, sort of. Sort of. Mobility. Nah. Dueling, I probably want. Improved toughness. I might want that. That's probably... We're probably going to go with toughness. Let's go with Toughness. The character is very resilient and gains actual damage resistance. And later on, we get an even better version of that. Improved Force Camouflage has been gained. I'm actually not sure what that is, but we can look at it in a little bit. Oh, and I can get Beast Confusion. But I can also have Master Force Scream, which might be better. Or Night Speed, which actually is better, instead of just Miting. Miting, that's that's definitely how words work. Uh, so let's hope that uh, we level up even more, because I want my abilities and all the abilities. In Jedi Empire, they have a smart way of using which... In, use, in which using Tab helps you select interactive stuff, so you choose what you want and don't press something you don't want. Yeah, in this game, it also works. It's, you press Q and E to go between... Uh, go between things. Also, this guy is a phase pulse conversion assembly. I didn't realize they had loot. Because the loot doesn't appear immediately. So there it is. Big giant lizard done. Not much of a challenge. Nothing like that big lizard in the, at the beginning of KOTOR 1. Where you basically have to use grenades. It's really difficult. That thing is proper, proper difficult. On normal difficulty. Yeah, you can press Q. Look at it. Look at it. See what I'm doing? Right, right hand. Not uh, not in the mouse. I'm just pressing Q and E. Both of them do the same thing because it, there's only two options. But Q goes left and E goes right. So, yeah. Look at all the forest. I love the forest. It's so go so so not goofy really. It's just old school and <laughs> I love it I love it it's old school it's Tom it's Tomb Raider Tomb Raider 2 specifically had some really cool forests in the backdrop although Tomb Raider 1 also had a few but very rarely and just some more enemies over here that mean nothing they literally mean nothing oh there's more behind us I don't know where they came out of experience best education Just keep at it. Hmm. 
There's some forest in, in the dungeon here. This is taking a little bit of damage. Oh! There's a Canuck back here. What in the world? Why? Why did they spawn? There should be a Mandalorian in here. Yeah, he's just over there. Don't know. Don't know what's up. But I don't need to worry about that. We have some eucalyptus in this, or whatever that looks like. Bamboo, maybe. I don't know. Inside this tunnel. It's very ominous looking. Why? Oh. Oh, it's not a dead end. Air Force Man, welcome to the stream. Okay, some Canox. And this keeps going up. Yeah, you guys deal with that. I'll 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 be back in a little bit. Oh, this is the one of those caches. And there's a permaconcrete detonator. Is it really called the permaconcrete? I I I was calling it pomegranate before. I didn't actually give it the time of day to to know what it was. What is it? Permacrete. Ah, right. It's fine. I think the, the the charges are probably set. And all we need to do... This door is impenetrable to anything short of high-grade explosives. And we will... You see a permacrete detonator. It's used to set off permacrete charges that are linked to it. Feels a little bit overkill. Oh. There's a lot of angry beasts. Statement. That explosion has stirred many life forms in the area. Fighting is undoubtedly imminent. This is quite interesting. That these creatures would be ready to fight at hearing an explosion. Usually creatures run away when they hear an explosion. But not these ones. These ones are oh th this is this is gonna be an interesting fight. It's gonna be a fine fight. No problem whatsoever. Because AoE is king, I have way too much of it, and this is, is helping me as well. Weakness has indeed been revealed. That was as easy as it gets. And we got remains. No, Vizis did take a little bit of damage, so it isn't as easy as it gets. Adhesive grenade. An Akani dueling shield. And that's it. Okay. Oh, that's for you. Acknowledgement. You know how to deal with this. This is a deadly plasma mine. Wait, it actually goes to places. It's an area. Okay, let's not go into the area right now. But So let's see whatever might hide over there. But that's a dungeon. A creature something... Someone's calling me. Yeah. <laughs> not my lazy ass cat. He sleeps like nothing happened through explosions. That is... Yeah, well, it's a, this is a cat that knows nothing is gonna happen. I my not not the cat that I have right now, but I had one uh, before that would just freak out at the um, at the vacuum cleaner, and every time we were vacuuming, 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 it's difficult to pronounce. Uh, every time we would just go in and freak out at the vacuum cleaner, but not obviously in the same room that we were vacuuming. We'd just be in the next room, being like. Mm -hmm really upset. And if you were on the other side of the house, it doesn't matter. Ooh, face pulse converter power. Okay. And some improve, improved fighting gloves. No. No, it wasn't. Unfortunately, that was just some nonsense. Uh, dogs and cats hate vacuums. Yep. Not the current one. The, that one doesn't mind it. But the, the other one, he would just go and stand at the door and be like, hmm, but not not in the same room. He'd just be, he would go there to be freaked out in in the room next door. You have received short lightsaber. Wait, why? What? How did I receive that? Why? Does it mean that these guys have short lightsabers in them? No way. I mean, obviously not now. 
So that's another... This is a planet you can come to right outside of Telus. As soon as you get out of Telus, you can, you can come here. So that means that if you come up here, which admittedly is difficult, because these guys are actually a... They're difficult to kill. I'm just high level. Um... Oh, we got another a couple of level ups. That's lovely. Uh, it means you can get a lightsaber if you come up here. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so I'm exploring the map. Let's see what this is before I level up. Till now, my cat slept through earthquakes, vacuum cleaners, fireworks. <laughs> it's just it. It's the. It's it's the most fearless cat. There's something over there, but we've been. Hello. Kelborn. Hey. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? I want to mess with the thing that is at your feet. What are you doing down here? It's dangerous for your kind. That's what I said. What are you doing over here? I can handle myself. Hmm. You've shown promise by making it this far. Maybe you can prove your worth by giving me a hand. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. There's a Duro's... There's a Duro's bounty hunter ship deeper in the jungle. No, it wasn't them. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly. It was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. A ship that big should have left a trail. Haven't found any sign of the ship. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout and pretty green too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? I want to check on something up here. Um... Let's stop talking and get to killing. Interjection. Master. This is one of those rare times when you make my behavioral module glow. Hmm. Good to hear it. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts. If you're up for it. I am. Let's find them. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. And I've gained even more influence with HK-47. That should mean that HK-47 is about... Oh yeah, he's super dark side. <laughs> he's super dark side. So she's maxed out in dark, in dark side. He's not, but I need a little bit more influence on him to get him to that point. So, for skills, we're going up on demolitions and repair and a little bit of security for good measure. We have feats. Precise shot, naturally. And that's it. As for Visus, she gets skills, computer use, and treat injury, and a little bit of stealth. Not that she needs stealth, because I don't use it, but maybe I will in the fu in a future occasion, maybe. Uh, there's nothing else here. I've maxed out everything that I wanted. First Scream is interesting, because it does damage. It's light side. Let's go with the Force Body, because uh, I basically never use it. But it might be usable, might be necessary. I don't think it will be. Acknowledgement. But... Acknowledgement. The honor is mine. Yeah, the honor is yours. And now, can I look at your stuff? I can't! Well, we have been... Yeah, we're just, we're just missing this last little bit. I'm not really sure what he meant by I'm going west or going east or whatnot. I go wherever I please. Everywhere is where I please. So, that's... What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not... Wait, did you hear no, that? No, the that's Colonel her. doesn't... Get her! Yeah, I don't think this mission is going to be worth it to the Colonel. Just saying. Don't shoot me with lightsaber with a 
that thing, I shoot it back at you. Oh, that's a good sword. It's doing 20-something damage. It's proper. It's proper damage. Unfortunately for him, he dies. But apart from the dying, the sword was good. Can I take it? Not really. Where does this go? A skeletal corpse. With Jalshi meditation gloves. We're getting a lot of Jalshi stuff. That's good. Some of the gloves are into oh, well. Is it stuff? Uh, no, I think I think I'm using the Jalshi perception gloves. Which is how gloves here. work. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more. Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! So the colonel doesn't get to have something worth uh, worst, uh, worth it? You know, yeah. But the lieutenant also doesn't get it. Oh, let me go in there. You are killing the beasts. I must murder these beasts. Instead. Murder everybody. There we go. This is how dark side darks. Insides. We have a Zabrak battle armor. Not the first one. We have an ad three advanced medkits. Those are decent. And some credits. 36 credits. I'm not I'm not sure why the game keeps giving me 30-something credits at a time. It's like, that's really bad. Uh, I didn't rant about plastic skeletons. Nah, it's just, I, it's fine. I mentioned them in passing, if I need to. I'm actually not sure where I need to go. So we got the Mandalorian cache at the front, at the top. Oh. That's where you went? Dude. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Yeah, I came across two groups of scouts. They weren't in the mood to talk either. Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? You first. What did you find out? I searched their corpses. I'm pretty certain that they're Andoranian military without the tags. Could be a covert operation. What makes you think it was a covert operation? The only thing the scouts had on them were weapons. No identity cards, no personal effects, and no evidence to figure out who they were if they died or were captured out here. They mentioned something about a colonel. That also seems to be m more of them. Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Nah, it's fine. What makes you think he's on my trail? They certainly weren't looking for us. They'd need a much larger detachment than this to prove a threat to us. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role. It's not Colonel T. I'll see you back at the camp then. You might. You might not. One last thing about the battle circle. I didn't even Your talk about the battle have circle. Proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. You just said that perhaps you can't have the. That's weird. He said. He said, Nah, I'm not gonna see you at camp. Oh, by the way, so and so. Yeah, see you at camp. Either way, we have something to take care of. We have the the cachet. Looking forward to that. Not that I need the items a whole lot, but itemization is in this game is not too bad. I wish it was better. It were better. I think I think you need to be it's were when you say I wish it something. It's like I wish I were this. It's always were when it's the conditional, I think, in English. But either way, I wish it were better is is a thing. I'm not 100% sure why it happens like this. Do you see how there's shading in these things, but not shading in other stuff? Yeah, I don't I don't get that. I don't quite understand. And this is just a lovely place. Lovely place, I love it. Let's go inside and definitely not get killed. Hmm. This looks, A, creepy, and B, Sort of dangerous. Can you deal with these things without blowing yourself up? That is very surprising, actually. Oh, there's a big robot over there.
Hmm. I think I fought one like that in uh, Narshada. You're a hoarder. <laughs> I am. But honestly, getting like little, little uh, bits of of um, inventory is not very rewarding. I like getting unique wet uh, items and things that might be good for certain characters or something, even if I can't use them. Okay, that's you taking care of. Uh, actually, it isn't. No, no, don't, don't do that. Click on Ready your com serve. your companion. I was clicking and nothing was happening. That was weird. What do we have in these metal boxes? An ion grenade. A computer spike. Oh, there's a lot of loot. Okay, you can't get back there. Construction droid mark one. This construction droid, droid is inactive. This droid looks like it hasn't been used in some time. You can't find any way to activate the droid. Let's activate the droid. You can't find any... Okay. I could bash it. What about this big droid over here? It's also inactive. You can't find a way. Huh. Well... Color me interested. Does it have to do with these things? No. Do I need to bash them? I think it I think that might be the case actually. We bash them and then they all activate. Is that what the game is trying to do here? I'm saving a lot. I'm saving a lot. Let's see. Bash. Yep. They all well, one of them aggroed. Oh no, they all aggroed. Excuse me? What? This... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happens. That is absolutely what happens. Oh, and all of these opened. A hyper battle stimulant. Computer spike. Oh, no, not all of them. Okay. No, actually, none of them. Mechanism. <laughs> not all of them. None of them opened. Only the, that one over there. It says it's impossible. Which might mean I need to put an average mine in there. And but effective. Yes, hopefully it is effective. And hopefully we didn't uh, lose anything. I don't think we lose anything when it's mines. It's only when you bash things up. Uh, Verpine Droid Disintegrator. Those are rifles. A canny dueling shield. Not bad stuff, all things considered. Hyperadrenal Stamina. That one is pretty decent. I think it gives you like a bunch of extra constitution. We got Thon's Robe. What could Thon's Robe be like? Is it made out of a plant? Like the Norris Robe? No, because it's like a possessive Thon's. Oh, it's a light side thing. Uh, immunity to stun fo uh, and bonus feat of um, force focus and force jump. Defense 3. Yeah, it's not. it's not very good. There's nothing here. Um, on what difficulty are you playing? I remember this is a very hard fight. I am playing on normal difficulty, but I am also I also do a lot of damage. Like I'm I'm fully dedicated to doing damage with that particular ability. I didn't see what I get there, so I'm gonna reload. I think I just saved. I did. Because if we get interesting things, I want to see. I'm playing on, yeah, I'm basically playing on normal. And the game is peaky enough in terms of difficulty. Sonic recharge, so yeah, some interesting things. Environmental underlay. Let me test this secure, oh, stupid primitive mechanism. Don't worry. Crude, but effective. We have another one. I don't even think I need to step away too much. We have parts, a slave master stun carbine, and a hyper battle stimulant. I believe I have all of those. Certainly the hyper battle stimulant, obviously. A Mandalorian Ripper. I don't know what that is, actually. I think it might be a rifle as well. Iotren Braceman Armor. A Braceman Armor? 
Well, uh, we don't use it, but let's let's see what it is. It oh, it's a heavy armor. No, it's pretty decent. It adds targeting one, precise shot one. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't matter for for us at the moment. Those things, the eleven defense is interesting. I think nobody uses heavy armor though. The only person that can use it is no. I think yeah, maybe maybe Baudur does. I don't remember. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're back to the camp. Because we did everything over here. Yeah, I do a lot of damage. Like a, like a lot, a lot of damage. Let's see. So I have plus three dexterity over here. Uh, I have... There it is. So it's a level 18. Character level 18. Character level 9. No, that's the unlocking. So I'm at level 24. And the way it does, it's 1d6 points of damage per level. Fucking hell. So it's a 24d6 versus a will save of high, a lot of difficulty um, for ha only half damage. What's that minus ten? Oh, the minus ten is the adjustment based on the, the on the um, on the uh, dark side, because it's a dark side point, uh, dark side ability. So, for example, I do have a light side ability somewhere in here. Universal, I think I have. I might not, but I did. I, or is it Visus? I think it's Visus. It could be Kraya. I don't know. No. It's, it's Kraya. Kraya has a, a light side ability. Oh, look at that. Universal plus four. I don't know why it is. Is she not? Because she's not. I don't know. I don't know why she gets a uh, plus four on, the, on that universal. It doesn't really matter. It's only plus four. For contextual abilities, it doesn't matter. But yeah, a ten force cost. I never see the force go down. It's like... Also, the battles don't last very long, so there's no, that's not a whole lot of time and uh, to, to spend the force. And... If they last very long, my problem is my health. It isn't my force. So, I have the force body. I have master force, in fact. Uh, that allows me to use my health to contribute. To... Uh, this is the way. To contribute to to my force pool. Uh, but it's totally pointless. Does uh, I don't want my health to contribute to that. Because I don't have a whole lot of it. See you later, Mr. Mandalorian uh, person. Is it this way? I actually don't know. I think it is. So the Mandalorian ruins. This is the way we came. Yeah. Uh, also, it's that thing in which plus is bad thing to have, like, armor class in Baldur's Gate. Uh, no, no, no. That's cost. The, that adjustment is just the cost. It's an adjustment to cost. So it's it's good that it costs less. Do you know what I mean? Uh, who do I need to talk to in here? I think it's just the it's just the um, arena back here. Hopefully, I will be able to do the fights with my lightsabers or everything. Because I don't think I'm going to survive. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the arena if I need to punch people. Bralor. Kelborn. I thought I would see you again. No more scouts in the jungle, right? Together we made short work of them. If you yearn for more fighting, the battle circle can slake that thirst. I'm here for that. It is not a true test of a warrior, but it echoes the thrill of real battle. The sergeant chooses who fights who, but I would eagerly fight you in the battle circle. So what are you here for? Can you tell me anything more about the scouts? No, I can't. We all have our orders, Jedi. That... The orders that don't have anything to do with you being able to tell me things about the scouts. The Mandalorians really don't hate the Jedi for losing them. Do the Mandalorians not really hate the Jedi for losing to them during the war? We're taught not to. Mandalorians want to be tested to the limits of our abilities and beyond. We admire anyone who beats us on the battlefield. Instead of hate, we study, practice, and train until the next time so we won't be beaten. But some young Mandalorians find this a hard lesson. 
Any veteran of the Mandalorian Wars respects Jedi like you. Your actions on Duxon validate this. But we aren't a simple people. No, you're pretty simple. Yeah. Um, I would like to fight you. As would I. I noticed that you killed more scouts than I. I he would also like to fight himself. Firsthand. Okay. So... Let me just save before that happens. Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champions. You may fight in the battle circle again. Yes. You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. He'll be a Krogan, yeah. Or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the force or any other item. Okay, well, I guess I'll die. <laughs> it's a dueling vibro sword. Uh, it was already equipped. Thanks. Thanks for that. Let's hope that this goes well. I doubt it. Oh, off to a good start with a 9 damage. Pathetic. Oh, I'm taking 51 and 28. Oh, yeah. This is death. What is even? The match between Jedi and Kelborn is over. Kelborn is the clear and honorable victor. You are a strong warrior, Jedi. But no match for the best of us. If you take away your lightsaber and force, then our training techniques can be more than a match for you. Yeah, that is, uh... uh nobody could see that coming. Can I do that again? Here to watch a fight or to participate. It's the fight. You have enough sword. Okay. So, I think I might be able to do something about it. Let's... Because we're not in combat, so let's, let's mess with our armor. Defense bonus. Dancer's outfit. Nothing against slashing, unfortunately. We do have something against slashing, but it's not good enough. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to go with the with that. Let's see. Charisma wisdom. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. Got a regeneration one over here, but that's pointless. Targeting visor is what I can do. Ooh, I got packages over here. I didn't realize I had packages. This is really good. Oh, look at that. Constitution and regeneration. That's not too bad. Uh, can I get strength in constitution? I do. I can get strength. That's pretty decent. Okay. Okay. So the shields that I have are all... Yeah. Let's do this. I'm sure I'm going to die again. Okay, we're doing more damage. And I'm taking less damage. But it's not going to be enough. If I can't deflect these things. The match between Let's try that again. Wow. With the without the force Jedi is nothing. Yeah. I'm a I'm literally I'm I was focused only on force. Not that I I mean I could I could I could beat him. I can beat him. It's annoying as hell to beat him, but I can. He's just way too much damage. How much strength does he have? Let's beat him. Let's 
right, the saves come. So for the sake of the let's play, I'll actually beat him using a technique that I have coined myself the Colonel RPG way. Let me show you. So, observe. An attack. As soon as you do damage, you save. And when you save, you reload immediately. And why is that? Well, the reason is I attack faster. Oh, a little bit of T-posing. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. Actually, I took a damage. So, reload. That's, that's the technique. And you do that over and over again until you win. That's how that works. Actually, there's a better way. You're, the... The icons are not showing up for some reason, Harry. Okay, when he starts attacking, that's when you save. And then you reload. That's how you do. That's how you cancel his attack. It's absolutely... It's, no, no. I took a bunch of damage. Okay. Not actually sure that this is going to work. I remember it works. I don't know when it is, but there's something, there's something that happens here. Oh, I just did it. Just did it. It's basically, yeah, it's basically as soon as you do damage, uh, you save. And as soon as you take damage, you reload. It's as simple as that. It's not, it's not very complicated. And it just, oh, yeah, I did take just 39. Hmm. And the game also doesn't auto-pause. Oh, a miss. Oh, that's a miss on... Oh, man, it does so much damage. It's unbelievable. But yeah, it's for the sake of the let's play. I want to see where this goes. Let's kill it. There it is, damage. <laughs> and it's so boring! It's so boring. But we can do it. This is this is what saves coming is. Not not saving midway through combat and reloading because the la the second part of the combat was uh was bad. No, this this is the real art of truly saves coming. I broke Twitch. Do I get a prize? Uh, I don't know. This I, that happens every once in a while. I've seen that happen. I don't know why that 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 happens. I don't remember the HF existing at the end. Oh, that's because it's a modified icon. Yeah, Twitch forgot that it's a modified icon. Okay, a little bit of damage there. I think it's okay to take a little bit, but not too much. You can see my health just going down like nobody's business. There it is. Just five damage. That's all you need. I really don't understand. He does 59 damage. How Where does he get that? Is that even possible? You would have to have a hundred strength. Does he get extra damage from, from like a sword abilities or something? I don't know. It's just brutal. It's just like uh, absolutely. Yeah, it's the Eva's Mux. It's, the, it's how it goes. It is super boring though. It's like, it's I, I, I understand it is very bad. Um, but that's what we, what you must do to observe content. And this actually matters. We're going to go back to... T We're actually going to do that as soon as we are able to go back to the ship. Uh, we're going to pause this this, um, this this planet in half. Because we're going to do the, the robot planet. Or the, at least the robot f factory. Because I know where it is now. Um, because it's a reconstructed mission. It doesn't actually work like other missions, um, but I think I have access to it. And we're also going to go to the planet of the, the Jedi and fight the Jedi again and see what th that does, because I haven't gone there in a while. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Oh, he does. He probably does, like, extra damage or something. I think he lands crits. Yeah, that might be. Because it shows up as two different damage outputs. But that time he didn't, and that's why it's weird. Sometimes it does, too, and other times it just mixes them all together. Five damage. I never stood a chance. There's, there's basically no, no way to do this. Which is fine. It's, it's fine. It's fair enough. I'm just not going to submit myself to that. Okay. This is dangerous. Oh. <gasps> we did it. With a lot of saves coming, but we did it. Like a lot of proper saves coming. Between Jedi and Kelborn is over. The Jedi I don't. I don't have the console honorable activated. Victor. I honorable victory. You. A 
difficult admission for a Mandalorian. If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us, Braylor. You didn't even pronounce it nicely. Instead of pronouncing it Bralor. Bralor is a lot more scary. Braylor. I see you jerk. Can I talk to Braylor though? So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Okay. We're ready, I think. Hopefully. Here to watch a fight or to You know the we drill. We eagerly look forward to this fight. Braylor, you are our champion. How would you fight the Jedi? No terms today, sir. Yes. I would fight the Jedi with all of her arsenal. Braylor will fight you as you are. Still no killing and no leaving the battle circle. But you may use whatever else you want. That's what I'm talking about. Now observe as the good stuff happens. Let me see if I remember exactly all the all the things I had. So the robes, that's the one that I had before. I still have the perception. I have the regal visor. Uh, we're going to disable the package that we have over here. Uh, and see. So we need maybe a little bit of strength. No, and a little bit of constitution. Yeah, fitness pack package here is perfect for me. Just, add, just adds exactly what I need. If I can see it. There it is. Bring, yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. No killing? <laughs> that was all the fun. No, we're not killing them. The, the, these people are, like, they're weird. So, let's do it. Bralor. I have death field. That isn't gonna affect your companions, don't worry. Even though he probably should. Oh, I don't have a... I'm sorry. I forgot about my lightsabers. I Not that it matters, but they do add defense. But this guy is punching me because he's an idiot. Although... No, don't attack. Yeah, the lifesteal is... Is incredible. And I can heal if I need to. Which I very well might. At this rate, it's looking like I will have to. Let's do night speed. Because we have we need buffs. Let's do. We never use the buffs over here, but they're super powerful. Please heal. Again. Okay. Let's stop messing around because life still doesn't work. Oh, did you fail? Uh, yeah. This is this is the power. There it is. So 750 experience. I'm the legitimate winner. The Jedi and Braylor is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have defeated the most worthy of us. You walk away the champion of the battle circle this day. We will not forget your deeds or the honor you have earned this day. This day, he said this day twice. Definitely not inspired by the Lord of the Rings. That one speech makes everybody say this day every time. Whenever you want to sound like, ah, oh, it's just so important. Just say this day in your sentence and you're good. And so, I lose again. <laughs> and so I lose again. You have much to learn. The last Jedi I fought was in a ship-to-ship -ship battle on Malachor V. I lost, but was spared. Before the Mandalorian Wars, we looked at Jedi as weak. Their code restricted their full potential. The Jedi were limited by a narrow sense of morality that couldn't survive a real war. But our view was the narrow one. I see that clearly now. I sense we both learned something today. Nah, I didn't learn anything. I mean, I already knew that, you know, safe scumming was the way to go. Where's the other... My life or yours. Yes, um, not, not you though. Where's the other one that I fought? Did I talk to you, Caliborn? I see now why we couldn't win against you during the war. I did not. Even fighting at a great disadvantage, you still <laughs> fight as brutally as a rancor. Right. Your fight with Braylor was brilliant. You are truly a warrior of Mandalorian proportions. So what are you here? Don't talk about my proportions. I'll be going. Hmm. Yeah, that fight was a lot better than the, the first one. Because, you know, the first one. I, I really don't like the, the fact that the game... 
Oh, there it is, night speed. I really don't like the fact that the game makes you makes you fight unarmed. Not for the first time either. We've seen it happen a few times. It's just sort of, uh, I don't know. I'm glad that I did that because it's kind of fun. And uh, we got to see a battle that we definitely should have won, which is the last battle. The second to last is the hardest. Which is not necessarily unknown and unheard. You defeated Braylor in the battle circle. Either you're very lucky or you're a lot tougher than you look. Or I have a lot of saves coming on my side. Some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me right? you helped out it would have been, yes. around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. I set off the permacrete detonator in the jungle. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. After I set off the explosive, I had to fight through a pack of uh, bomas. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. Yeah, animals, when they don't like things, they sort of avoid things. It's it's kind of like, they like it when they when I made that. Um, you knew you'd, it would happen? It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Yeah, that they like explosions. Is there anything else I can do? Ask around the camp. Someone else might have something you can do to lend a hand. I also promised you a reward. Here you go. This should help you fend off some of the local beasts. You're well on your way to earning some real respect around here. Keep it up. Speaking of respect, we also got a Mandalorian assault rifle. That's what he gave me. Speaking of respect, I know where the the trophy that I got needs to go. It's this guy over here. The trophy from the big lizard thing. Not the first big lizard, the other one. Word has spread that you have defeated Braylor. The story of that battle will be told in our clan for years to come. Safe journey to you. I defeated uh, a Zakeg. Here is its ear as proof. I'm impressed. Too bad you're a Jedi. You'd make a formidable Mandalorian. Is there anyone else? No. Okay. So I got a pinpoint scope mark 4, which is pretty interesting. Because I believe HK-47 can use that. And uh, I think everything is done. Except for this one. I finally found the last piece of the Phase Pulse Converter. This is for Zuka. I forgot that Zuka gave me two quests. Any progress with the repairs or the Phase Pulse Converter? <laughs> Discount Dragon. <laughs> right. Yeah, I have all three parts. You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry computer repaired in no time. I'm just glad I could help out. Is that even a thing a light side Jedi would say to the Mandalorians? Who, who chooses that? Then perhaps you can pay me for my time, is what I say. That's pretty mercenary of you. No. A lot of us have been down that road recently. Here's some credits. I appreciate the help. Now, I have some work to do. It's not mercenary, but getting wanting to get paid for your work. It's, it's just normal common sense. These people. Wanting wanting things done for free. And I'm the one who's a mercenary. Jesus. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakig. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. How many <laughs> You keep saying the same sentence. You've earned some respect around here. That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. Around here, around here. I'm gonna make an edit with every time he says around here. tomorrow. But I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab it... <laughs> this is the most realistic thing. I do it yeah. Now. I'm not criticizing the writing. I'm criticizing the person. Have you learned anything new about the scouts from the third ship? Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts. But that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. What do you know about Colonel Tobin? Colonel Tobin is General Vaclu's right-hand man. Despite Thought he was right, the Cathound. He handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting... Functionary. Back, during the is that a term? 
Vaclu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kirath like Tobin. Such an interesting term. But Vaclu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. Functionary is, in Portuguese, the translation... Fun uh, it, well, the analog, the analog word in Portuguese stands for groundskeeper or cleaner or janitor. Janitor might be the, the better term. Okay. Oh, and I received a lightsaber. Getting a lot of those recently. Really nice. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I don't know why he has a lightsaber, though. Maybe I just, he just, I received it from, from the gods. Hey. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? Yeah, I thought I thought I could have told you that. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? Huh. It is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi What's died gonna happen? to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no great voice great hacking. Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V. And you have been dying ever since. A quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? <laughs> her age are going to keep... You are wrong. Her age is going to keep her it is safe. You who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Yeah, because he, he followed Revan. you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy. How do you know that? I know many things. And I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. She's talking about Revan. Mandalore Forget served Revan. The Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. <laughs> Forget the Jedi. Mm, one, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Yeah, our it's enemy called gunfire. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. She does air quotes. Also... Was she supposed to be with me? Because she was just there. You saw her just there. And then she disappears the moment we exit the cutscene. Because the, the way the game 
exits dialogue. It's kind of f f weird. But... I think they didn't account for, for her not to be with me. Uh, zero available slots. Yeah, I basically have the, the same people. Are you sure you want this? Yeah. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Okay, let's get some speed up in here. So I can join the fray a little bit faster. Oh no, these guys are... No, they're not. It's fine. Kill them. Good. These guys are coming, coming from everywhere. No, not that. Where are they? Are they joining from everywhere, really? Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to ISIS immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. And again, I choose... Only one available slot, curiously. We really? Is Atten permanently with me? The party member you selected is currently unable to join the party. No. <gasps> it's the Mandalore! That's the last companion! Then I want HK with me. Um, actually, at this point, I might want Visus, but Visus sucks, so we're just gonna go with HK. He's level 5, the cutesy little baby! But he, he's all the dark side, he's the dark sidiest of cutesy little babies. talk a doodle do Yeah, we did, I just forgot, x -Laxy. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Oh, you might have been here for a little while. Um... What's up, my Mandalorian and brothers? Yeah. Yeah, it, I sort of forgot about that. There's a lot of screen tearing in the in the movies, in the videos, for whatever reason. I have VSync enabled. Though you say it is able to, to remove screen tearing that... That doesn't make sense. You get v you get screen tearing with uh, without VSync. V it's a lot of character selection. No, oh, it doesn't matter. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first. That's madness. Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies. So many of our fighters lost. Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter. Strong word, Your Majesty, but there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side, increasing his power? For a time, perhaps, but we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market. Dagon. Very Cthulhu name. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Of course I do the talking. You're the companion. So, I, I do the talking. Also, you have all the level ups. Let's see what you are like. Pretty dark side. Okay, so it's not the darkest of sideists. But pretty dark side. Level 5, soldier. Uh, combat droid for HK. Okay. So, what do I want you... Well, let's find out how we work. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not find out how you work. Let's see that you have... Let's. Oh, you cannot equip or remove an item from this slot. He always has... I just want to see what that is. I just want to see what Mandalore armor is. Oh, there it is. Maximum, z maximum zero dexterity bonus. And he has a dexterity bonus. 
Well, that's actually okay, because I can give him a minus dexterity and it doesn't affect his, his, his bonus, so I think that's okay. And his weapon is a repeating blaster rifle. A, a bad repeating blaster rifle, but that's what he's going to have for the moment. Let's level him up and see how that goes with skills. I don't know what I have and what I want in terms of skills. Skills. Computer use. So it's demolitions and security. Demolitions, repair, and security. Okay. It's because if I want to have both of them. So it's not demolitions. I should probably computer use first. The problem is computer use is not a... a, a it's not a, a thing. Yeah, kind of sucks. So he seems to be focused on awareness and treat injury. Sounds like a plan. He has way too much treat injury, which is kind of weird. But it's fine. These are custom-made characters. We're going to go with precise shot. Very important. Same as before. Oh, we're actually not going to be able to max out uh, treat injury. Uh, awareness. Okay. Sometimes it works, old games are weird, yeah. I think I had him go full close combat with Vibro Blades with a heavy armor. That was badass. He's the Mandalorian Rambo. Yeah, I'm not I, I don't need full close combat. I'm not gonna use him in, in battle. Or a lot a lot anyway. He's also specialized in blaster rifles to begin with. So what do I want? Conditioning? Improved toughness. It's going to improve rapid shot over here. Attributes finally. He has a lot of strength as well. Let's give him constitution. Normal skills. Improved close combat. That's not bad, a bad idea. And that's that for that level. We have more skills, normal skills. And I will go with more... Oh, no. That's, I mean, I will go with that eventually, but let's go with more precise shot. Skills, same as usual. Feats. Let's go with that. For power shot. More of the same. And let's go with that as well. And attributes again. We'll go with up on strength right there to make it even. And then over here we are going to get precise shot 3. Skills the same. I'm actually going to even the amount, because it doesn't really matter having one extra skill for no reason. And I can't get more precise shot right now. Let's go with toughness. Mm, should I go with toughness? He's also specialized in melee weapons. Let's go with toughness. Let's make let's give him a little bit of melee capabilities and make him a little bit more versatile. But still primarily shooting. Bunch of toughness. Really nice. For feats. Can't do that yet. Dueling. That's for a single hand weapon. Arrogent, welcome to the stream. How's it going? <clears throat> Who is the strongest character? Uh, my character. My character is the one that does the most damage. It's unbelievable. Both in strength and offensive ability. Uh, strength, strength, I think, yeah, uh, the Wookiee is the strongest. It's like a lot damage, melee, incredible. It's very, very powerful. I'm gonna give him... So what exactly can he use? No, he... Oh, yeah. Weapon proficiencies. Let's go with that. We're level 15, so there's a lot of levels ahead of us. And we have another... Let's go up on strength, another perk, more skills, 
Still going up on precise shot. Oh, this one is just skills. Really? I think it's the first time we get just skills in a, in a level up. I think? Maybe. And get that proficiency. More skills. Attributes again for more strength. More skills and now for feats. Oh, finally, the last precise shot. So he's ready to just be a shooty shooty. Which I think he's gonna be for the moment. I'm not really gonna focus on that too much. I alone can do all the things. We don't we don't need help. But since he's here, I suppose might as well use him. I will want to use two weapons. So two weapon fighting. Let's go with that. And more skills over here. And that's his level up. Hmm. I wonder if I can leave. I can't leave. The Ebon Hawk is not here. Oh. Huh. You must finish your business in Isis before or Isis before returning to the Xon. Okay. Let's uh let's set him up with uh with weapons. Don't let the Wookiee rip your arms off. <laughs> yep. So we got some Vibro Swords. We have the G Gnosian Electro Staff. Uh, that's pretty powerful. It's probably better for... Uh, config to... It doesn't tell me how much the hit chance is. I need to change it here for it to tell me. Is a plus 24. Yeah, plus 24. Oh, I can switch over here. Oh, it goes, yeah, I have a little bit better in that uh, with a with a rifle, but that's fine. And then we have force, resist, wisdom, dexterity, and strength. Dexterity doesn't matter. Dexterity does, oh my god, look at how much dexterity I get. I had a tech belt over here for all of the dexterity in the world. Do I need charisma and wisdom? I mean, I do. Not so much the charisma at the moment. That is incredible. I'll go with that for the dexterity, but I'll have to get some wisdom from somewhere. I don't know that I can get wisdom from somewhere. There's charisma from here. Do I have a charisma and wisdom helmet? For the two percent. I probably do, actually. Wisdom plus two. The meditation band here. Wisdom plus one. This is a charisma plus one. I think right now I have, yeah. I could get with a little bit more, more wisdom instead of the regal visor. I'll go with the Matukai meditation band. They look different, but the meditation band might be a little bit better. I could also go with the meditation band normal. But there's no reason to. The will saves are better. Let's go with that. And we're basically at the same stage in terms of points. Oh, the charisma goes down. We're not at the same stage. We lose charisma. Charisma matters a little bit. But the dexterity is nice because it adds to my defense and I have a lot of it now. Yeah, let's go with that. That's probably better. To avoid getting flagged by YouTube, we should stop pronouncing it Isis. Nah, it's fine. YouTube doesn't flag that. It just flies if it just flags it if I say. Uh, if I say coronavirus or something, then yeah, it adds that little banner at the bottom, I think. So, this guy... Uh, there's not a whole lot of shields for, for them. I mean, there's a plus one strength here for plus two dexterity. That's not bad. I mean, I suppose it's better than nothing. Burps. 
Dex specialist. Let's go with that. So Mandalorian melee shield and that energy shield. I think we have some miners dexterity. Gloves. Constitution. Zaysha gloves. Yeah, let's go for it. Constitution helmet. Oh no, he's gonna have that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. That's a Mandalorian thing, isn't it? This helmet's name is derived not from any cerebral effect. It's called the Consciousness Helm. Uh, it's not Constitution Helm, but its ability to help keep its wearer conscious, which is just a joke. It's they're they're making a joke. So as for our extra thing, I think I'm gonna want to go with strength, maybe. Yeah, we can use a little bit of strength on him. Strength package. There we go. Perfect. And now he has this thing that it can use against people. Okay. And that's going to be that for this stream. My back. And uh, that's, yeah, that's going to be that for the stream and for this week's take on the uh, Knights of the Old Republic, I think. I think that's going to be it for this week, because the plan is, as of right now, to have a stream in two days' time for New Vegas, and then Saturday as well for New Vegas. So it's two New Vegas streams in a row, and uh, this will come back in a week's time. Let's see, stream 19. Uh, some more Knights of the Old Republic is going to come back in a week's time. So, yeah, thank you so much for, for joining me, everybody. Thursday hype, always, always hype for New Vegas. Uh, we're gonna finish probably we're gonna finish on a start <laughs> Tuesday have to yes, uh, so thank you all so much for joining me. Have a good night everybody stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye